Hello everyone in peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and as you see we are coming live on air uh, about one hour earlier than the time we scheduled for uh, before we start I see some Muslims have comments uh, you know uh, we will start answering comments uh, like now we have a Muslim saying uh, do you admit that the translation of the Arabic Bible saying uh, uh, the word Allah <coughs> Uh, Mr. Uh, Momani, do you admit that the Muslim translation for the Quran say Jesus? Yet there is no Jesus in the whole Quran. So this is how silly they are. They are silly people. They are desperate to find the name of their God. You see, while we are denying that their God is not our God, they are desperate to say that their God is the same God. Do you know what does that mean? <clears throat> A person who have an honor, he will not wipe the face of his God in our shoes to say, please accept my God to be the same God as yours. They are bankrupt. Now, Momani, I have my pal talk open, if in case you are brave to call me, feel free. Uh, before we start, there is a guy, he was, uh, you know, all, all of them, they text when I am not in the chat. The second I appear, they disappear. And this Momani is a, is a great example. Do he dare to call me, Momani? Do you dare to call me? Do you have the courage to call me? My Skype is open. <clears throat> All right. If you are brave, really, if you have something to say, then feel free. <clears throat> uh, uh, a guy, his name is Zot. He said, uh, Christian Prince, he said the Albanian, they serve for Hitler. Not only the Albanian, Albanian, Bosnian, Muslims in general, they serve for Hitler and they joined his forces and they were number one in the front line to capture and kill the Jews. And you can go right now and search. And this is the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem. He met with Hitler and he was a high rank. <clears throat> He'd been given even a rank in the Nazi army. So those ignorant who say things, you know, we, your ignorance speak. Then he said, Christian Prince, he said, there's more than uh, 3 billion Christians in the world. And then he say, uh, well, you know, according to reference says there is 2.3 or etc. billion in 2015. Well, you see, first of all, the numbers you see, as an example, if we saw, if we go, <coughs> This is the man with Hitler, you know. What is the donkey? He said to me, where do you get this information from? Hmm? Yeah. So when you see somebody making a statement and you collect those statements from websites, as an example here, it says that the Christians in China in 2015, there were 70 million. Where did he get this number from? <clears throat> How you can get the numbers of a Christian in China in a country persecute Christians? How you can know how many Christians in Pakistan? How you can know really exactly the number of Christians in Indonesia? How you can know? I mean, all countries where the Christians are discriminated, there's nobody knows how many they are. Same time, when they calculate the numbers, they calculate all Muslim countries as Muslims. As an example, me, myself, I'm counted as a Muslim. If you ask the, the you know, uh, when they say to you, okay, let us see the ethnic who they are exist in uh, USA. Now, if you mention that you are Middle Eastern, then you will be counted as a Muslim because all Middle Eastern are Muslims in the, in the, in the count. But in fact, that's not true. The biggest popu uh, you know, population of Middle Eastern in USA are Christians because they, they were migrating from long time because of discrimination. So the numbers you talk about, they are really false. Same time, I'm, you know, like uh, China is going to be the biggest giant, a Christian nation in the world. In less than 30 years, we will have more Christian than atheist. Oh, sorry, uh, more, more Christian than uh, 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 Christian in China, more than Christians in America, you know. So the numbers the people talk about, <clears throat> Nothing of it is you know, accurate. This is just assumption. They collect information from here and there. And all those all, all those numbers are not, you know, how in the world you calculate that USA uh, Christians are two, 248 million. Where do you get this number from? I challenge anyone to tell me how you get this number from. 
because there is nowhere in USA it asks you, nobody asks you what is your religion. No government, nobody. You know? <laughs> Even if you want, you don't need to, to answer if you are a male or female. <laughs> so all those numbers are really not real. <clears throat> Same time, they assume that Islamic countries are Islamic countries, when the Islamic countries, most of them are not Islamic at all. Anyway, we don't want to waste our time. Uh, another thing he said uh, about Albanian, uh, they are not Muslims. I said that the, the Muslims in Albania, they are not Albanian. <clears throat> you see, Syrian in Syria are not the Muslims. Palestinian in Palestine are not the Muslims. Egyptian in Egypt are not the Muslims. The Muslims were occupation, they occupy the same as the Turkish. The Turkish, they occupy this land, but this is not Turkey. So if you are a fool, you do not know history, go read it. Uh, now we go and see. Uh, Christian attention just blocked me on my main ACC. What is that? Uh, Momani, nobody blocked you. You are an idiot. <clears throat> um, at least not me. Secondly, Momani, as long you are saying attention, attention, they block me. Why you don't call me, you coward? In the front of everybody, this guy, I'm going to block him because he's a kid. Why we don't we do exist? <clears throat> Momani, you are screaming like a woman, he, she did muta according to Islam, and you are complaining you are not getting paid. Yet nobody used your service yet. So what about you call me and let us see if you can do any service? Do you dare? Do you dare? My pal talk is open, and by the way, I go. I went live on air early because my throat is hurting, so I'm not going to stay long. That's why I decided to go early because I'm not going to stay long. Uh, you expose my corrupt Bible. That's wonderful. First of all, just to show you how Muslims are dummies. When I say dummies, I mean it. Isn't it your Quran says that this is the Bible of Allah? So when you say the corrupt Bible, you are talking about the corrupt Bible of Allah. That is additional proof that Islam cannot be from God because if Allah is God, there is no way any anyone, any man, no man in this earth, anywhere, can corrupt the word of God. So when the Muslims, they are desperate trying to prove to us that the book of Allah is corrupt because remember the Muslims, they have a fantasy. It's called Allah. And they claim Mr. Fantasy Allah is the one who sent Injil. The gospel was sent by Allah the Torah was sent by Allah. But then you will find the Muslim dummy saying to you that the, the book of Allah is corrupted. So what he is saying to us that the word of Allah, the word of Allah is corrupted. And that again, additional proof that Muslims, not only they make fun of their God, but they knew that their God is limited. He is a, he is a susu. Anyone can give him a finger, anyone can corrupt him. When you say, I prove your book is corrupted, you are stupid because I have no book. This is a book of God. I cannot find a Muslim, he have a high IQ. You are attacking your God because you Muslims, you, you know, you stole everything. Muhammad is a thief. He claimed that the Bible is from Allah. So then how you say, secondly, can you show me where your prophet, he says the Bible is corrupted? Never, never. Not even once. Actually, the Quran says over and over and over that he, Muhammad, he agree, he believe in what with their, with them, between their hands. Between their hands. And this is repeated when it's come to Musa, when it's come to Isa, when it's come to, to Muhammad. I Allah, I confirm what is with them. So when a stupid Abdul, he come to you and he have no knowledge of his book, what we can say? Laugh? Laugh at them? At their foolishness? If the Bible is corrupt 
And then Allah, he says, confirming what is with them. I mean, who is this chippet here? You stupid idiot. All people write the scriptures in their hand, including you Muslims. You see how stupid you are? Secondly, he is saying, confirm what is with them. What is with them? Whatever it is. Who are the Christians? Who are the Jews? <laughs> so, uh, okay, that's mean it's it's there. It's not corrupted. If you confirm one copy, it's mean it is not corrupted. So how you fool you say it's corrupted? Okay, Michelle Ashraf, no problem. Uh, so, Mamari, do you have the courage to call me? Okay, let, let, let us go to that verse. Those who write the scriptures with their hand. But this is mean you Muslims, because you Muslims, you wrote the scriptures with your hands. Same time, you idiot. They write with their hand or they write it with their ass. What difference is going to make is your prophet says, I believe in it. <laughs> number two who is the one who wrote the muslim scriptures who is the one who wrote did allah wrote it for you <laughs> or muhammad he wrote it with his bum <laughs> i don't use zoom you idiot call me call me in pal talk just call me in zoom zoom kid what, you want to open the camera for me in the phone and you will, be, you will make the monkey dance? So look at the stupid idiot. The Quran says, Inna alayna jama'uhu wa Quranuhu. Jama'uhu wa Quranuhu. Allah, he said, it is us who will collect it. It's us who will proclaim it. Did Allah... Do what he promised. Where is the Quran of Allah? This is your Quran. So you just say the one who write the scriptures in their hand, they are corrupting the book. This is your words. But you Muslims are the one who wrote it by your hands. According to Quran, God, he gave Moses the tablet, which is written by the hand of God. Now, where is the Quran, which according to Muhammad, he, Allah, will write it? Do you see the verse? We have Mustafa, Mustafa Karam. How are you, Mustafa? Do you want to join us, Mustafa? Do you like to call me? Who is a Muslim he feel like strong for today? He ate some good food and he like to call us. Uh, Mustafa, if you are here to call names and say stupid things, I will block you. If you want to debate us, you are welcome. Who is the one who is the Muslim would like to call us? You see the topic, it says, Islam make me happy. I don't see any Muslim happy here. I see Muslims who are angry, full of hate, and they say stupid things, stupid things because of their hate. I will make you Muslims happy for a second. You know, I will try to fight your uh, uh you know like uh, your stress i understand you are very stressed especially you know uh you know listening to me i mean it's not easy i, I don't blame you i mean put yourself you know put yourself in the shoes of those i you know you go you fight with hitler and then you are defeated you go you join isis and then you are defeated you try to establish the caliphate and then you are defeated you make fabricated videos about Quran and science and you are defeated. And then you come in the prison of Christian Prince. All of you are defeated. And the proof, no one of you dare to call me. Who wanna call me? May Hitler plus you. So if we go in the in the in the hadith, just to make you feel better, because you are a Muslim, you are angry all the time, just for comedy. Let me show you how islam will make you happy for me it make me happy to be honest with you most of the time when i read the stories of muhammad look what muhammad he said in this uh, hadith the messenger of allah sulaiman said sulaiman sulaiman means solomon the jewish solomon muhammad he attached himself to the bomb of every jew he cannot live without the jews he is the puppy of the jews so 
he went out to pray for rain and he saw an ant lying on its back rising its legs to sky to the sky saying oh allah oh allah we are a creature among your creatures oh allah we cannot live without your water oh allah any muslim there get lost you coward zoom boy you are the one who desperate you know the muslim they say to me call me in zoom because i don't use zoom if i use zoom they will say call me in pal talk kid oh allah oh allah the aunt she said oh allah okay we have a muslim <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, go ahead. You are live on air. Hello. Oh. Why are you disrespect Quran? I, I'm not disrespecting the Quran. The Quran is respect, is respect itself. I understand, but uh, I respect you. I respect your faith, but... No, you don't I, respect uh, my... You don't respect my face. You call me Najis. You call me dirty. You call me uh, donkey in the Quran. Mm -hmm. All names in the Quran. Isn't it the Quran says that Muslims are dirty? Don't you call uh, it? I've never read that. Don't I you? never read that. Oh, what do you mean you never read that? Aren't you a Muslim? Yes. Okay, can you mute you too, please? I because I, because we hear ourselves twice. Can you mute you too? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Do you right. that? Okay, no problem. So now, so you are saying you never heard that. Why? You don't read the Quran? No. No, no, no. My, my iman tells me what to believe, but I don't read Quran much. The, that, the imam, he told you not to read Quran? No, but I do not read Quran. I just listen to iman. And the imam never told you the word kuffar? No. You, you never heard of the word kuffar before? No. Are you sure you are a Muslim? Yes. I never heard of a Muslim. He never heard the word kuffar. I have never heard that. How old like, are you, my friend? I'm like, uh, I, I'm 17. You are what, 13? 17. 17. Well, you know, I yes, mean, sir. 17, you did not hear about this word. I mean, you are young, yes, but I mean, there is no way you did not hear it. Okay. So anyway, my friend, what do you want to, what do you want to say to me? As long as you are 17, I'm not going to be tough on you. What do you like to say to us? Right, right. So... Uh, I noticed your live stream, you, you debate Muslim all the time, and I was just wondering, like, you, you do have the Bible, you talk about the Bible a lot too, like, converting them, not just out of Islam, but to Christianity. So my question to you is, why do you not accept Muhammad as a prophet, if you accept Jesus? Well, it's very simple. Moses, I mean, so. your prophet was a child molester. What do you think about a man who has sex with a child? No. What do you mean now? No, he's not. He's not telling us that. Didn't, not true. Did, didn't he have a wife? She was six years old. No, she was not six. What is Scholars that? are saying that she was nineteen. Uh the scholar they say that it was nineteen. Who is the scholar? Uh, you you do research, brother. Well, he, I he, well he, I did I search. I, I did search. This is the wife. The wife herself. She said she was six. If the wife herself, she said she was six. Who is the scholar? Scholar, they've never been there. And, they, and there is she no scholar say that. Huh? She hallucinating. She, 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 she hallucinating. Oh, okay. Well, let your dad call me, my friend. We don't want to have, to have kids. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? She is hallucinating. Yeah, all right. Okay. Any Muslim would like to call us? I mean, from all the Muslims, we got nothing but someone who is 17 years old kid to call us. What is the brave man with the big mustache? Let us see. We have another Muslim, but maybe he's Shia.
okay he's not answering can you translate chapter 19 verse number one okay why why you want chapter 19 verse number one What do you mean translated? There's no translation. You speak Arabic? I mean, the guy is texting me. He doesn't know who I am. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? This is, this is, It's one word, but it's letter in the same time. This is not a word you can translate for simply it's not a word. They are letters which is a presenting that Jesus is my God. If you have my book, you can read that. But if you ask the Muslim what that means, they will say Allah knows best. This is why this is exists in the chapter of Maryam, the mother of Jesus. Ka or kaf, kaf like the letters in Arabic, when we read them alone, we read them in a certain way, like a word, like kaf, but the letter is ka. Ha, it is ha, h. Ya, it is ya. Ain, it is a. So you see, like we, in, when we read the letter alone, we read it as a word. Uh, let us see. Maybe today we can get lucky. If you are a Muslim, text me. If you are not, I will block you. Please, if you are a Muslim, you can text me and I will call you. If you are a Christian, I will block you. Any Muslim? All right. <clears throat> Hello. Alhamdulillah. Same kid. It take me two one second to block you. I mean, so what? What, what you did? You know, you are showing people that Islam is stupid. I don't know if you is smart enough to call us and speak like like a. <laughs> what is this everybody is witnessing how silly this religion is they cannot answer serious questions about their religion it's a stupid cult all what they do they spam they make noises once he called me he fought the other one he called me saying Allah Akbar the other one he called me saying if you know the F word I mean what's wrong with this religion we cannot find one Muslim he you know he he's mature it's impossible because you cannot call, you cannot be mature and you join Islam. Islam is not for mature people. A mature per person, he will not believe for a second that there is a God. If you believe in him, he will give him endless private part. No way, you cannot be mature. A mature person will not believe that there is a prophet. He came out and he found an ant laying down in her back wearing bikini and her legs is up and she was praying to Allah saying to him, Oh Allah, give me water. You cannot be a mature person. Simply you cannot. It's impossible to be a mature person and you believe in this cult. Prove me wrong. Do we have any Muslim? You know, once I was working in the beach. You know, I, I you know, I live, uh, uh, I live in, uh, you know, near to the beach of Arizona. You know, Las Vegas, next to the mall. You know, the mall. There's a beach there. It's called the uh, uh, the beach uh, of. Uh, you know, the, like there's a fountain there too. You know, it's a very nice beach there in Arizona, Las, Las Vegas, next to Brazil. So anyway, I was walking in the beach. This is a true story, by the way. Uh, you know, I was walking by the beach and then I found 
an ant an ant subhanallah and this ant her legs is up to the sky subhanallah and then I spoke to the ant because as you know I speak many languages you know so I said hey ants what's the problem you know she said because of COVID you know they kicked me out from my apartment and I said what you are saying she said oh Allah I heard her oh Allah Send me the check of Trump fast so I can rent an apartment. And brothers and sisters, before even she finished her word, the postman, he came to her mailbox and he dropped the check of Trump. Oh Allah. Who is a Muslim believing in this garbage? And this is a prophet of God saying this. That there is a guy, his name is Solomon. I mean, Solomon, this is, the guy is a king. He have nothing to do in his life except go out and they check for like what he went out to check to pray for him. Can, can he pray inside the house like he have to go out? And then when he went out, he found an ant in the floor, in the ground. And this ant, her legs is up. I mean, look, this ant, she cannot pray to Allah and her legs is down. I mean, come on, that's an insult to Allah. You cannot be an ant and you do such a behavior. Shame on you. So now all the ants, I'm expecting them to pray in such a way. This is why I, I, you know, I decide to make an experiment. I decide to collect a lot of ants and put them in a box and I will cut the water from them. I will cut the faucet, you know, I will put them in the box, no water. And we will put like a slow motion camera recording them and see how the ant at the end, they will lay in their back and they will start praying for Allah, asking, saying, oh Allah, I want water. This is your religion. You say to me you have God. You say to me you have Quran. You say to me you have science. It's a joke. This is a prophet of God. This is a story is not even good to tell to a child. Once I, I say I said to a girl, she is like five, six years old. You know, I saw a broom in a in a store. I said, should we buy this broom and fly like Harry Potter? She said, do you think I'm crazy? Those are stupid things. They are not real. <laughs> Honestly, she said to me, you think I'm crazy? Those are st stupid things. Those are not real. Don't believe them. <laughs> uh, the prophet, he fly flying on top of a donkey. You know, and as usual, there is no, there is no witnesses. There is nobody, nobody there. Any Muhammadan? Yeah, those Muslim kids, they keep texting me, the same kids. The same kids. We cannot find the Muslim, just to show you. Just for a laugh, you know, I will call them for a laugh. No, 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 no. <laughs> see, I know, stupid, you do not know, I can see, I can see his, uh, his details. Stupid idiot. Do we have any any uh, real Muslim? Anyone? Oh, this guy is busy. He received, uh, I think, he received inspiration from Allah. So anyway, you know, those things happen to us. We Middle Eastern, we witness a lot of things, to be honest with you, you know. You know, this is a true story, by the way. Once I was walking in the beach and there was seven ants. You know, seven, they have to be seven. We cannot make it say six, you know, because um, uh, all prophets of God, they stuck with number seven. So, well, I know, anyway, I saw seven ants and uh, there is one of them, she was topless. And the second I saw her that she is topless, I know that this is the male. Because only male is topless. Come on, think about it. You know, just think about it for a second. I mean, seven ants in the beach, only one of them is topless. Obviously, the rest are females, and he is the only one male because he's topless. I mean, you know, because ants are Muslims. There's no way a female Muslim ant, she was going to go topless. Impossible, brother. We are very conservative. So anyway, I decide to speak to the male ant because the one is not... To, you know the topless one obviously it is there is no way you can see the, the testicles you know because in, in, they are very small you know, so, and you, you know you know what I'm saying so anyway 
So I spoke to the, you know, the, the aunt, which is topless. I said to him, uh, who is this with you? Like, are they legally your wives? He said to me, who are you? I said, I am the Sharia police. I want to know that you have sex, uh, uh, legal sexual relationship with those ants. He said to me, I am, I am profit for the ants and it's lawful for me to have unlimited. Those six is just to walk around with me. I have like thousands of them. So I said to him, oh, so you are a Muslim prophet for the ants. And oh, yeah, that makes sense because Muslim prophet, he have unlimited number of women to sleep with. Okay, you convinced me, but do you have any proof that you are a prophet? He said, exactly, I can prove it to you. He said, if you go, if you don't believe me, go and ask Zakir Naik. I said, you know about Zakir Naik? I mean, imagine guys, ant in the beach, yet she watched Zakir Naik. And she said to me, Go and read the chapter 27, verse number 82. Really? Chapter 27, verse number 82. The ant said, yes, this is a verse to speak about me. Who is a Muslim have the courage to call me and read the interpretation about that verse? So we can die laughing. Huh? <clears throat> This guy, he said to, to me, <laughs> call me, and then he is he's busy. <laughs> I think he is the ant himself. Hmm. We have another Abdul, maybe the same kid. <laughs> Most of them, they say to me, call me, and, they're, and, they're, and their line is busy. Uh, man, what I did to the Muslims. <laughs> Can you have door? Any Mohammedan? So when I was watching the chat. You know, there was tons of people speaking about me, against me. Liar, he is, etc. Don't you, why you don't admit that the word in Arabic Bible translation is Allah? My friend, it's a translation. It's a stupid translation like your Quran. The word for Jesus there is not exist in the Quran. In the true Quran, there's no Jesus. So the question is, is the word Allah exists in the true Bible, not a translation? A translator, he can, he can call him Buddha if you want. But this is you know something we don't accept but how you yourself accept to call jesus jesus when allah he called him isa what you will say to me oh i don't accept the translation the second you accept jesus we refuse allah if a translator he would there you know and they are we know why because under they are under islamic occupation for 1400 years of isis etc we know but you have no reason. Nobody occupy you. Why you are using the word Jesus in the Quran translation? Uh, same time, our problem with Islam, my friend, is not the name. Let us say you train, change your name, the name of your God, and you call him, uh, you know, uh, Adil Imam. Peace upon him. Change his name. Who care about the name? Or let's say you call him Peter, or you call him John, or you call him even Jesus. Still, your God is a false God. He does not exist. The name is not the problem. I mean, don't you see the stories? An ant sleeping in her back. This is your prophet. So, who is the one who taught Muhammad this story? Allah. I mean, be honest with me for a second. Do you think really there's a God? He have time to tell such a stupid story. If we ask Zakir Naik, who is the one who taught Muhammad this story? What he will say? Tadadam, tadadam. Tadadam, tadadam. Tadadam, tadadam. Prince. 
I'm not going to answer you. you eat this. How, how, how you know I'm going? How you know it's me? I know it's you because you are the only one you to call me when you have intercourse. You, what? What? You are the only one that you call me when you have intercourse. You are having intercourse now? Exactly. Intercourse with your wife? Chris and Prince, you are very dirty mind. I want having intercourse with the religion of Islam. You have intercourse with the religion of Islam? How you do that, man? Simply, we do internet course. Which means I'm teaching course at the school. Ah, intercourse. Ah, okay. I thought it's something else, man, because your prophet, he used to imagine himself having intercourse. In fact, he did not, so I thought you are doing the same. Good Prince. First of all, you are not polite. Secondly, you are very rude. Number three, I'm going to get you busted. Okay, uh, so Zakir, you know, I'm just asking you. I mean, uh, there's just a simple question. Maybe you can answer us, you know. What do you think about this story? Who is the one who told this story to your prophet about the ant sleeping in her back and praying to Allah? I mean, what happened exactly? Great Prince, Allah informed the prophet. He told him all the stories. Exactly, I have a question. I want to know why you squeeze yourself when you want to say something. Like, is your mouth is something? I mean, this is squeezing. It sound like it's there is you're, there is struggle. You know, you, you know you are trying to push it out. Exactly, and this is why I'm going to get you busted. First of all, Allah He told the story to Prophet Muhammad, and He told only executively. What? Executively. What? He told him only the story executively. Uh, so you are saying that Allah he told the story only to Prophet Muhammad. Exactly. This is why you see Prophet Isa did not know the story. Prophet, every boy Prophet do not know the story. Nobody knows the story except Prophet Muhammad because Allah told him the story executively. Uh, but I mean, why Allah he saved this story to Prophet Muhammad? Because it's a big story. And have a deep meaning, a spiritual meaning that all animals are created to pray for Allah. And Allah, he told Muhammad the story because it's very deep. That's a very deep, man. I mean, we have to admit, you, you are right. So Allah, he told Muhammad this story. How come we don't have it in the Quran? Great Prince, not everything Allah, he said in the Quran. Huh? Not everything Allah, he said in the Quran. Are you, are you serious? Exactly. So Allah, he said this, and it's not in the Quran. So how you say the Quran is preserved? Isn't it the Quran is the word of Allah? Exactly. But you just said that the one who said this is Allah. So how come it's not? <laughs> so Zakir, do you really think that Allah, he went to his office and he started thinking about writing this story and send it to Muhammad? Christian Prince, this story already written and Allah, he put it in his tablet. Allah have a tablet? Exactly. We are very civil people, and our God is very educated, and this is why he have a tablet. Christian Prince, do your God have a tablet? Uh, no. Exactly. I mean, I lost the debate. Does God have a tablet? Uh, my God don't have a tablet. But Zakir, why Allah have a tablet? He don't have a good memory? Christian Prince, Allah, he wrote in the tablet, so nobody will forget. But who care about they forget if he is going, not going to forget anyway? And if nobody can see it anyway, <laughs> isn't it your prophet? He said, Allah put the tablet between the two eyes of the angels so nobody can see it, even the angel himself. Exactly. So what the point of the tablet if he cannot for, if he will not forget? <laughs> Greater Prince, I told you that now I'm busy and I have intercourse. And because I have intercourse, I have to leave. Where are you going? I wanted to know why Allah have a tablet, but yet nobody can read it. And he himself, is he going to forget? Why he wrote a tablet for himself? Greater Prince, I told you I have intercourse and I'm busy and I'm going to leave. Thank you very much. Don't call me again. Yank up. This is God. This is religion. This is the proud Allah. This is a prophet. And laying down in her back, praying to Allah, asking for water. What about whiskey? Why she don't ask him for an uh, like cockroach so she can suck his juice? This is what ants do. Water. What is this? Do we have any Mohammedan? Any Mohammedan? When I finish talking and we hang up and we go, and then you will see you will see how many brave hero. 
you know they are a christian prince i challenge you christian prince <clears throat> let us see this guy he said call me but he is always busy huh. oh call rejected let me block him then call rejected Okay, a joker. Let us bug him. Who is a Muslim would like me to call him? If there's anyone, just text me, please, in in, in Pal Talk, and I will be happy to call you back. We we'll we can have a nice conversation. I mean, don't worry. Be happy. <clears throat> Anyone? Anyway, I did not finish to you the story about when I was in the beach and I saw seven ants and one of them she was topless and then I noticed that there is one ant she have a broken leg. I don't know how I'm... I mean the story have a lot of details. You guys, do you have time? Do you have time to listen to the story? The one with the bro there's a guy, guys. He they open a chat room in Paltok, the same program I'm using right now for people to call me. And the Muslim they invite everybody. This guy he claimed that he was the Pope. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was the Pope of the Catholic, and he is Egyptian. If 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 if. So brother, this guy he told them, I was the Pope, and I converted to Islam. And I was praying to Allah secretly. Mm -hmm. I wish at that time we have those recording program. That would be wonderful. I don't know about them at that time. Uh, and the Muslim saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The room is boiling, man. Chat room is full of people. And then they said, and then once they opened the door on me and I was praying to Allah. And that's it. They discovered that I became a Muslim. So they jailed me and they put me in a private room. And every day they take me out and they order seven lions to turn their back to me and they beat me with their tail. And the Muslim in the chat, uh, brother, may Allah bless you, brother, for the pain you suffer for Allah, brother. May Allah, you know, may Allah give you good deeds for, for, you know, for your patient, brother. Those filthy Christians, they did that to you, brother. May Allah kill them, brother. And like, uh, yeah, and you know, and the admin keeps saying, guys, don't forget the link there, the donation, please, brother. The donation, brother. The donation. <laughs> and then, brother, they jail me and they put me in the private room and they lock it in many locks, like seven locks. And then, brother, I open the toilet seat. And I went in the sewage and I came out in Egypt. If, 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 from Rome to Egypt, all of it, the trip in the sewage, you must be a rat. <laughs> and none of those Muslims, they said to him, come on, man, this is, this is too much. I mean, come on, your lie is so big. A, a Pope, an Egyptian Pope for the Catholic of Rome, which never happened. A Pope, and he speak Arabic. And he don't speak any other languages and he they, 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 they beat him and not only that he said there was seven lions and that's why i remember actually the ant and an ant her legs is broken true story so if you are wondering why they believe in such a story, those people, they tell them any story. As long as you are sponsoring Islam, they support you. Just make up any story. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's very easy. I mean, you, you break the toilet seat, you go inside in the sewage, you come from the other side in Egypt. I mean, yes, there is an, there's a sea between them. Yes, there's thousands of miles, but who care, man? And there's no sewage connected. Who care? Allah will connect it. Allah will ease the trip. It's very easy. It happens all the time. All the time. 
you know, I remember this old time. Do you remember the guy who, who used to be Muslim? What, what, what's his name? The blonde guy. I forgot his name. He left Islam, you know. <clears throat> At that time, he was a fool and he made things up. So he said, and, uh, brothers, uh, approve that Islam is, uh, uh, Allah is a true God and Islam is a true religion. That each time, as an example, I go to the store, I, uh, I go to the cashier to pay, and uh, then uh, I look in my, my wallet, I forgot my wallet. And then Allah, he put the exact amount of money in my pocket. Yeah, Ishmael, Ishmael, yeah, Ishmael, Ishmael. I mean, you know, I don't know, like this guy now, he's smart, you know, he left Islam, he exposed Islam too. But at that time, when I heard this guy, I could not believe how stupid a human being can go. Honestly. As an example, if I need to pay $7.11, I will find in my pocket $7.11 each time. It happened all the time. It happened all the time. <laughs> uh, I think I have still the video. And YouTube. Let us see if we can find it. I mean, I don't know. The second you be, when you are a Muslim, you are hilarious. Let me see if I can find it. I will type the word Ismail and seven seven dollars and eleven cents. Maybe we can find it. You know, I, always I look, I, I look back on time, and then, I mean, it's really amazing how people they, how people they say those things when they are Muslims. I mean, what happened to this guy? This guy is not really. I mean, how you go out of your mind and you say such a stupid things like this? Yeah, I don't know if I can find it. I mean, it's impossible to find a video of mine. Um, Maybe we need to find it, call it Islamic Miracle. I remember the name was like in contain seven dollars and eleven cents. Seven dollars. <throat> yeah, it happened all the time. All the time it happened. Each time he go, here we go, I found it. Man, history. Someone who's really close to me, for example, while living in Africa, uh, her cousin was dying. She prayed earnestly for her cousin to get better, uh, but her condition her condition wasn't getting better. So her family went into the city to visit uh, the sick one, sick one, in the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, this person, of course, didn't have enough room to leave. Uh, to go with him in the vehicle. It was full of people, so she stayed home. She locked the doors and windows at night and because she was by herself. She went to her bedroom. She prayed to God, and she asked God to heal her cousin who was, who was sick. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, a man appeared in her room, standing in a white flowing gown with beautiful colors, beautiful white colors, with a smile on his face, with a long black beard, just smiling at her. And she was horrified at first, but then she realized that this was an angel from God. And of course, she was in Africa where there was no white people at that time. So <laughs> at that time, his cousin, his cousin at that time, you know, when you hear at that, that time, you think she's talking about like 10, 20 centuries ago, his cousin, his cousin at that time, at that time, brother, there was no for sure is an angel for there's no white people at that time at the, the, in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy yeah i found the video and then he says i don't want to play my voice making comment about the stupid things because they get let us see and they live i'm trying just to find where he says the seven dollars and this come on he cannot steal. Uh -huh. I'm just forwarding the video. Maybe. And then, <clears throat> so I just pray a little prayer to God. Here we Checkout go. line. That pocket money change. Bank card with me. About what this guy is trying to say to us. About more miracles. Let us see. 
days, and I don't have enough. Uh, I, I forget, for example, to take my bank card with me, and I've only got some like small money, pocket money, change, and a few bills in my pocket. I go to the uh, supermarket, and then I realize when I'm in the checkout line that I forgot my bank card or my credit card, whatever it may be. And then, <clears throat> so I just pray a little prayer to God. Please let me have enough money for all of these groceries, Lord, Allah. And then all of a sudden, it happens to me that I have the exact amount of change in my pocket. The exact amount of change. You go to the Walmart, and you don't have, you forgot your wallet, you forgot your credit card, and then you don't have money. So you pray to Allah. And then Allah, He will put in your pocket the exact amount of the money. I mean, who need to go to work? Who need to go to work? I mean, Muslims should not be dying from hunger in Somalia. Just say Allah and the exact amount of money you need, Allah will send to you. Card, or my credit card, whatever it may be. And then, <clears throat> so I just pray a little prayer to God. Please let me have enough money for all of these groceries, Lord, Allah. And then all of a sudden, it happens to me that I have the exact amount of change in my pocket as as I need to have to buy the groceries. It happens to me all the time. Say, for example, it's seven dollars and eleven cents. That's exactly the money I have in my pocket when I pray. As an, exa as an example, seven dollars and eleven cents. That's why I was able to find it, actually because I remember I made the video with the with such a title, and this is the video. If you like to save it, this is an old video, you know. Very old video. Now this guy, he left Islam actually. You know, look what happened. This guy, he went, I think, to Saudi Arabia. And he learned Arabic very well. And he came and he started getting Islam busted. They did fool him almost for 10 years, I think. You know? Yeah. We are not getting any anyone is you know we are getting just Muslim kids texting me. Truth about Islam. Check your pal talk. What I check my pal talk. I have nothing in pal talk. Truth about Islam. I don't know what they mean. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? He was a Muslim for sixteen years, right? Yeah. 16 years and then when he learned Arabic start, he start noticing that everything he learned about this cult is a garbage but imagine I mean how this guy he was saying those things when he was a Muslim I don't care what he is now I mean obviously you have a problem but uh, when you are, when it is the second you convert to Islam, there is something wrong. All the time you go to the grocery store, you don't take your credit card, you say Allah or oh Allah, and the Allah he put, uh, uh, he put exact amount of money in his pocket, seven dollars and eleven cents. Hmm. Did you read how Krishna came? No, Mustafa, I did not. Do you want to call me and tell me? Mustafa Karam? You know, the Muslims, the, you know, the Muslims, they wrote books. They say that Jesus' story is the same as a Krishna. You stupid idiot. Krishna have seven, seven, seven brothers. You're an idiot. And his mother, she is not a virgin. Muslims are idiots. They don't know their religion. They fabricate stories and they are copy-paste. If you go right now and search, just search for two seconds in Prophet Google, peace upon him, you will see how stupid your story is. Same time, you idiot. If you are saying that Mary, she was virgin, the same as the story of Krishna, which is not. That's mean Muhammad himself is a, is a fraud. Because is it your Quran saying that this is true? Stupid people, you know, they, they have no brain. Their hate is controlling them. They don't even think for a second. They are insulting even their prophet when they make their claims. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Do we have any Muslim? 
You see, by the way, if you call me and you debate me, you can imagine how Allah will increase your deeds in the heaven, which means will increase the number of women in your bedroom. Don't you want to have that? Don't you have, want to have a power like Prophet Muhammad, the power of 4,000 men in bed? Hmm? By the way, Muslims, why Allah did not teach Muhammad the language of the ants? Bahibak, but Bahibak mean I love you. Why somebody is a Muslim call himself Bahibak? Let us see. <coughs> Hello? Ahlan, Ahlan Sahlan. How are you, my friend? Do you speak English? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Sorry. Can you uh, speak Arabic? Well, we need a translator. Can you like? Can you invite somebody? Can you invite somebody to translate what you want to say? Because sadly, our mm. audience we have uh, we have one thousand people listening almost, and maybe one or two only speak Arabic. So you know, I will be happy to speak to you in Arabic, but we need somebody to translate. And if I translate, people will say he has not been honest in the translation. But I think you can do fine. Try. Go ahead. Try in English. Let us see. Maybe uh, this time, every uh, all uh, my friend are sleeping now. All right. Well, but uh, I mean, I think maybe your English is fine. Do you know, try. Let us see how, how good you are your English. You sound. No, like, I'm very bad. My you sound. Friend. You sound like I'm a very bad. You sound like a nice guy. So I don't want to lose uh, your, the conversation with you. You know. I hope that thank you but uh, in uh, when when I speak uh, by uh, English language in uh, uh, religion I need uh, special words well you know and if I don't... if you cannot find the word that will help you you know we will help you why muhammad is a prophet what's your name first if you don't mind baha baha Oh, okay, I got your name wrong. So, all right. So, uh, you mean Baha, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Baha. All right. Uh, uh, Baha. Baha Uddin. No, just Baha. Baha. Okay. So, Mister Baha, why Muhammad is a prophet? I can't uh, speak English. Sorry. Okay. I can't. Tell me in Arabic why Muhammad is a prophet. I will translate to the people if you allow me. Do you speak Arabic? Yeah, a little. طيب أول شيء عرفني من نفسك أنت فين وهتكلم مين أنت يعني بأي موضوع؟ اسمي كريشن برينس وأنا معاك الحين بالبالتوك واليوتيوب والتوبيك الإسلام تفضل. أنت في غرفة مسيحية بالتوكية؟ Uh, لا uh, نحن الان في اليوتيوب مباشر على الهواء is asking you guys what's, what's your name you know what do you do where we are we now etc so i'm informing him that we are speaking to him in part talk but we are live in youtube so uh, لماذا محمد هو رسول why محمد, محمد why, why do you think محمد is a prophet go ahead والله في البدايه انا اقول ان الله عز وجل سبحانه وتعالى يصطفي من عباده من يختارهم هم يصطفي الأخيار والذي هم يعلموه الحق فاصطفائه لا يسأل عما عما يفعل وهم يسألون فالاصطفاء الرباني هذا أمر يعني ما نقدر نحدد ليش محمد تحديدا أو ليش إبراهيم أو ليش سعد أو ليش أحمد هذا اصطفاء رباني لكن ليش انا هذا 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 هدف سؤال بها خلني اترجم لهم وارجع لك سو جايز اي اسك هيم واي محمد از بروفيت هي سيز الله هي تشوز از هي ويش اند وي كانت اسك الله واي ويش واي هي تشوز محمد هي تشوز 
whatever he you know he want and Muhammad was a chosen okay Sayyid Bahad Tafadhal لماذا محمد هو نبي يعني نبي الله اختاره على اي اساس الاختيار يعني القران نعم. القران يقول على سبيل المثال ان وامراه وهبت وهبت نفسها للرسول سو ام سين تو هيم جايز اوكي الله هي تشوز هيم بس القران سي ذات وومن شي جيف هير سيلف تو ذا بروفيت امراه وهبت نفسها للرسول ما ما خص هذا بكونه رسول يعني لماذا يرسل الله ايات قرانيه تقول امرأة وهبت نفسها ما 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 علاقة النساء في السرير مع محمد بالله ودين ودين الله تفضل what is the relationship between the verses saying any woman she can give herself to the prophet so he can sleep with her between 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 that and Allah what is the business of Allah for this go ahead محمد أو بها سوري okay. الله عز وجل سيد الكريم أحيانا يأتي بقصص للنساء وللحيوانات وللأطفال وللحروب وللأمور ولجميع هذا المقصد منها مقصد تعليمي لنا ومقصد تشريعي أنه أنت يا مستمع يلي يلي تقرأ هذه القصة تفهم المحتويات التشريعية التي بها مثل ما هو موجود لعيسى أنه فين كان في الكتاب المقدس مثلا وفي الكتب التوراة والإنجيل أحيانا يتناول قصص قصص شخصية right. المقصود منها التشريعات. Okay, let me translate. Uh, so guys, he's saying the purpose of those stories is to teach you things and to teach you the religion and the law. Uh, 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 but I'm going to say back to him now, uh, and I will say it to him in Arabic, but also at first in English, uh, as long as we are speaking English now. Uh, I, the question was, what the connection? What is the reason? Because this is just a privilege for Muhammad to sleep with women in limited number. Ya uh, Baha. Uh, الآية تقول وامرأة وهبت نفسها للرسول ما الهدف التعليمي بأن تأتي امرأة أو نساء ويذهبون إلى رسول رسول محمد ما هو الهدف التعليمي التشريعي وهي خاصة بمحمد فقط محمد ليس بأعزب محمد متزوج بالعديد من النساء فلماذا يقول الله وامرأة وهبت نفسها للرسول ما علاقة الله بالجنس بين محمد والنساء So what the connection between Allah and the sexual relationship of Muhammad Muhammad is a man Allah is a God Why the God He say any woman she can sleep with the Prophet What is the purpose Go ahead Abha تفضل المسألة سيد سيد الكريم المسألة جاءت سياقة تاريخية إنه إنه فعل حصل فعل حصل. Hmm. So it's not from Allah. And the man, because he's saying this is just a, just a historic thing. There's something happened, but my friend, what historic thing? كيف يكون تاريخي وهو أمر من الله؟ الله قد شرع علي محمد وليس محمد من شرع على الله. يعني هو لم يحصل ثم قال الله افعل كذا. الله قال افعل ومحمد ثم بعد ذلك محمد فعل. فكيف يكون تشريعيا؟ من أز بهدف الجنس محمد متزوج لديه زوجات عديدات. so how how this is a law from God and the purpose of it is only محمد sleeping with as many as he wish. go ahead. الله أنا أحس إنه كده حوار ما هيستقيم لأنه يعني أنا بتكلم جملة وأنت بتروح ترجمها ب بطريقة وما نعرف حتى وجه الإشكال في الآية. الله بي بيذكر شكل تاريخي بيذكر لك قصة إنه امرأة وهبت نفسها فين الإشكالية في في السرد وهل يترتب على هذا الأمر إنه الله ما له شغل أنت فاهم موضوع كيف يعني ما أدري. Guys, he said to me, I'm translating as I wish. So if you speak English, translate. If you do not know, then you bring me somebody to translate. You know, this is what Muslims they do always. They complain. Uh, secondly, he says, uh, okay, well Allah, He is the one who make it for him and uh, about a woman she offer herself. What the problem? This is history. My friend, it's not history. Any woman, she can offer herself the Prophet. This was a privilege to Muhammad. هَذِهِ كَانَتْ هَدِيَةً مِنَ اللَّهِ لِمُحَمَّدْ خَاصَّ بِمُحَمَّدْ وَلَيْسَ بِالْمُسْلِمِينَ أَيُّ إِمْرَأَ تَهِبْ نَفْسَهَا بِدُونِ مَهَرْ بِدُونِ وَلِي بِدُونِ أَيِّ شُرُوط للرسول لكي ينكحها الرسول وتقول لي يعني ما خاصت هذا بهذا كيف يكون رسولاً متفرغا لل... لل... للعباده ونشر الدين 
ثم نأتي بآية وتأتي عائشة وتقول إني أرى ربك يسار إلى هواك يا محمد عائشة اكتشفت أن محمد يفبرك الآيات ويدعي بأن هذه آية من الله ولهذا قالت عائشة إني أرى ربك يسار إلى هواك يا محمد I will translate what I said to the people. I said to him, what does have to do with the, with the, with the history? Uh, uh, Muhammad, he fabricated verses, verses saying that any, any Muslim woman, she can give herself to the Prophet. And this is only a privilege for Muhammad. And then Aisha, she got Muhammad busted. And she said, well, I see that your God, he rush into your desire, Muhammad. We mean your sexual, sexual desire. So what the business of Allah with this? I mean, Muhammad had many wives. Why he need more? And they are not even, you know, I mean, they are just offering himself. This is this is a shame. Why there's no men left in this earth? Go ahead. Tafadal. In the beginning, I want to tell them and tell them this information. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. قل لهم انه انه احنا مصادر المصداقيه التشريعيه والمعلومات عن عن الله عز وجل والحد والاسلام بشكل عام هي مصدرها اولا 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 القران ترجم الكلام هذا بعدين نكمل لك الباقي. He is saying that uh, you know according to Islam the only the, the first source for Muslims is the Quran. The first one is Quran. Go ahead. الشيء الثاني قصة عائشة هذه ليست في القرآن. تفضل. And secondly, قول قول أنا معك. Secondly, the story you said about عائشة it's not in the Quran. So where it is? القصة الأمر الثالث عندنا مصدر وحي أو مصدر إلهام ما هو ليست مصدر وحي مصدر إلهام نأخذ منه المعلومة ألا وهو الحديث الشريف. تفضل. The third uh, source for information about Islam is the uh, the. the second. The, the second, sorry, the, the second uh, source is hadith. But my friend, the, the, the one I gave you is hadith. Uh, uh, Aisha, ma qultu alaka huwa hadith. Hadith mawsuq. Okay, but listen, asbur, 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 habba, habba. Wa indana al-ahadith in qasim ila qasmain. Kammil. And we have, the, we have the hadith, they are divided into two sections, which is not true. Yani, man alamak al-hadith, al-hadith qasmain, bi ayyi kitab hada? من بتسألني ولا ولا تختبر أنا أسألك بأي علم هذا تقول أن الحديث قسمين بس خلينا خلص خلينا خلص أنا اللي أبغى أقوله بعدين طيب طيب خلينا خلص اللي أبغى أقوله عشان لا تكثر الأسئلة ويصير الحوار الجدلي أوكي أوكي المصدر الثاني هو السنة النبوية الشريفة and the the second the third source is the Sunnah of Muhammad, which means what Muhammad did and said. But isn't it, this is the same as in the Hadith? Anyway, continue. The thing is, the Hadith is that we have the words of the Prophet and the words of the Prophet and the Prophet and the Prophet are true and the other is not true. And there is some Hadith are true and some Hadith are not true. Uh, my friend, Baha, don't waste my time. The hadith I'm mentioning to you is sahih. So you do not need to give me all this presentation. Al sahih, al hadith, the one that you said. No, 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 no. It's sahih. What's your opinion of sahih? What's your opinion of sahih? Sahih al-Bukhari, is it not sahih? It's not all sahih. Sahih Muslim, is it not sahih? It's not all sahih. Okay, I'll explain. Please. Guys, I said to him, this is Sahih Bukhari. He said, not all Sahih Bukhari is Sahih. <laughs> this is funny. Sahih Bukhari, not all of it is Sahih. Now, do you see anywhere it says, هل رأيت يعني بأمانة يعني أنت رجل ونحترم فيك الرجولة يا سيد بهاء. هل بأمانة هل رأيت في أي مكان قال فيه المسلمين بأن هذا الحديث ضعيف بأمانة did you see anywhere the Muslim they say that this is story from Aisha is weak or not authentic? Be honest. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Until, until, until. The problem is that when I try to find someone who doesn't know the knowledge of men and doesn't know this, it shows these issues. But I understand these issues from you. If you are not aware of them, I will help you. But don't take them in a general way. أوضح لك أول شيء إنه سيد بهاء يا سيد بهاء أنا معي شهادة 
في الشريعة الإسلامية في القانون الإسلامي أنت ماذا معك؟ ما هو ما هو ما هو يعني علم الرجال؟ أنت ماذا تعلمت؟ تفضل ما هو ما I said to him I have a degree in the Islamic law. So what is your degree? Because he said to me the problem we are talking to people who they are ignorant do not know much about Islam. So and the science of Islam. So I said to him I have a degree in Islam. What do you have? So what ما هو تعليمك يا سيد بقى؟ الحين ما ادري احنا بنتكلم في مسألة تعليم ولا في مسألة you are the one who said to me that I do not know and you are going to teach me and now I have a degree you don't so now I'm asking you honestly do you, have, do you have any proof do you have any proof that this hadith in front of us is not true هل لديك اي اثبات يعني بدون مماطلة ومجادلة وكلام يعني لا يضر ولا ينفع هل لديك اي سيدي اسباب؟ سيدي انت لا ترجم الكلام اللي تبغاه دقيقه دقيقه عشان يكون انسان اسال الله انك تكون على حق اتمنى انك تكون على حق لا ترجم الكلام اللي تبغاه والكلام اللي ما تبغاه ما تبغى لا ترجم اي ترانسليت كل الكلام اللي انا بقوله ان بيبول ار ماي ويتنس يو كان داونلود ذا فيديو اند يو كان جيف ات تو يور فريندز اي ترانسليت ايفري ثينج هي سيد تو مي جايز دونت بليز دونت ترانسليت ذا ون ذا وورد يو لايك اند ذا وورد اي دونت يو دونت لايك يو دونت ترانسليت اي ترانسليت ايفري ثينج يو سيد I'm asking you. أرجوك. I'm asking you. أقول لهم الكلام اللي أقول لكم. You, I just did. Don't, don't complain, my friend. Don't make me hang up on you. And then I say, okay, when you get somebody to translate, call me. Because you are complaining and what I can do. So, do you have a proof before you go? هل لديك إثبات بأن هذا الحديث الذي دعيت الذي أنت دعيت قبل هذا قبل هذا قبل هذا أنت لا تخليني لا تخليني لا تقطعني دقيقة قد دعيت باطلا وبهتانا إجابة قد دعيت باطلا وبهتانا بأن هذا الحديث مفرق هل لديك إثبات؟ I'm saying to him أنا أعتذر من الحوار أنا أعتذر من الحوار He apologized from talking he want to leave because I ask him do you have a proof that this hadith is not true so now he is going to escape Is that fair? Yeah. Ah, no. Is this a lie, Mr. 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 You are a man, and you are a small boy. I ask you, you are a man, and you are a small boy. Why do you run away? I ask you, 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 أنا أثبت لما تديني الوقت وتديني ما تجيني تسألني سؤال وفي نص السؤال تسألني سؤال ثاني أنا أعطيك كل الوقت أنت ما أنت ما قاطعني وقلت أن لا لا الحديث لا ليس والله صحيح والله العظيم أسأل أسألك بالله تترجم الجملة هذه قبل النهاية جايز أسألك بالله جايز أم سين تو هيم بيفور يو جو جاست جيف مي أ بروف يو سيد يو آر ذا ون هو انتربت مي أند يو سيد ذيس حديث از فابريكيتد از نوت ترو أند أي شو أي شو لا 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 يا سيد بتكلم معك انا دحين انت رايح عندهم سو از ذس حديث اسالك بالله اوكي ذس ميت كلير هل هذا الحديث صحيح او مفبرك؟ اسالك بالله انك تترجم الحد الكلام اللي انا اقوله لماذا لا تريد ان اقول لك ام كيب اسكن هيم از ذس حديث از ترو اور نوت هي ريفيوز تو انسر هي دونت ونت انسر نو مور بيفور هي سيد اتس فابريكيتد ناو هي دونت ونت انسر نو مور واي؟ بيكوز اتس امبارسين لماذا لا تجيب لماذا لا تجيب؟ يعني ما المشكله؟ لماذا ما تعطيني وقت الاجابه؟ انا اتفضل هل يعني ليس هناك يعني اما ان تقول انه مفبرك وتثبت او تقول انه صحيح انتهى الموضوع. هل هو صحيح ام مفبرك؟ اذا قلت مفبرك اعطيك كل 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 الوقت. If you say this is fabricated I will give you all the time to prove it. If you say this is true that's mean we agree both of us there's no need and you continue. Go ahead. هي هي المشكله عندك المشكله عندك انك تبغى اجابه بايوه او لا بدون تفصيل في هذه المسألة no. ونحاول نفصل لا 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 أنا أريد إجابة ثم فصل الإجابة ثم فصل he's saying guys the problem that you want either yes or no without details I said to him too no I want yes or no and give us the details I did not say I don't want details no problem give us the details but either you say to us yes or no جميل جميل أوكي هل لازلت تضرب امرأتك ترجم الكلمة هذه He is saying to me, "Do you still beat your wife?" I don't beat my wife. Your prophet he did, and you Muslims beat your wives. Does he ask me, "Hal tadrab imraatak?" We we don't tadrab the women. No. Hal lazil? Lam lam agul lak. Shuf, hatta inta fi tarjamatak aqtaid. Hatta inta fi tarjamatak aqtaid. I said, "Hal lazil tadrab imraatak?" Yeah. He said, "You say me. Do you still beat your wife?" Right? Okay. Okay. So why are you asking me this? What does this have to do with our topic? This is the question that if you answer wrong, you 
فانت مخطئ وين جاوبت نعم فانت مخطئ <تصفيق> اولا انا لست متزوج يعني فان قلت نعم فقد كذبت وان قلت لا فقد كذبت ايضا فانا لست متزوج اصلا اي ام سين تو هيم فيرست اوف اول ام نوت ميريد سو اف اي سي يس اي بيت هير اي ام لاين اف اي سي اي ديد نوت بيت هير ستيل ام لاين بيكوز اي ديد نوت ميري ات سو اي مين اي مين وات ديز هاف تو دو وذ اور توبيك ماي فريند ما علاقه هذا السؤال الغريب العجيب بالحديث وات از ذا كونكشن بين يور كويشن اند ذس حديث ات از ان يور قران ان شابتر 4 فيرس 34 في سوره النساء الايه سوره النساء الايه 34 تقول تجيز لك السؤال اطول من ضرب النساء اول مره ضرب النساء ضرب النساء في الاسلام جائز ومشجع عليه جميل أنا جميل. أسألك ما علاقة جميل. هذا جميل. ما علاقة السؤال بهذا؟ I'm saying to him this is in the Quran it جميل. says you can beat your wife why are you asking me he want to change the topic that's it you know oh, this is what Arab people do you ask him about potato he answer about tomato that's all Arab عن 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 الطماطم فيردون عن عن البطاطس أنا أسألك عن حديث عائشة وامرأة وهبت نفسها للرسول فقالت له إني أرى ربك لا يسرع في هواك يا محمد أنت قلت هذا حديث غير موثوق أثبت ترجم الكلمة هذه اللي حقولها أرجوك مم. ممكن؟ He's saying to me guys قول أنا أول translate what I'm going to say go ahead <تصفيق> أول مرة أنا أشوف سؤال أطول من الإجابة He's saying this is the first ترجم. time this is the first time he here A question is longer than the answer. No, this is not the first time, my friend. Isn't it your prophet? He says that when you, you, you when they ask you, do you believe in Allah? You say, uh, yes, I do. That's it. The, the question is longer and the question is shorter. So look like you do not know your Quran. Is it? قد ذهب وولى حلق مع الريح He ran away. باي باي قد حلق عباس بن فرناس وذهب واختفى بين الناس وكان بعضهم في ثياب وكان البعض بدون لباس ها هي رانوي You see, I mean, they cannot, they cannot, you know, deal with it. I mean, what uh, Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. Okay, why he is a prophet of Allah? Allah chose him. We cannot ask Allah why. Okay, but what the connection between this and this? A prophet making verses saying any woman she can give herself to the prophet. What does have to do with God? Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is fabricating verses so he can sleep with as many women as he wish? This is not God. Muhammad already have many wives. What if people hear me here? Let us say I have people listening to me, wherever you know, uh, uh, around the world. And then I say, hey, any woman she want to give herself uh, to me, I'm, I'm Prophet Muhammad. I mean, what does this have to do with God? If you're a prophet, why you want women to sleep with you? What is the connection? So he cannot answer, and we showed him the reference. First, he said it is it is fake. This is not, you know, our first sources is the Quran. Okay, but this is in the Quran. The Quran says any woman she give herself to the Prophet so he can if her. And this is a privilege to the Prophet. What does this have to do with God? Any Muslim can tell me what is the connection between this and God? Why God, who is in heaven supposedly, he go to his office and he start counting how many women Muhammad he can sleep with. And then in the top of that, he encouraged women to offer themselves to the Prophet for sex. And this is only a privilege to the Prophet. Privilege. Isn't it obvious? All, all cult leaders, go search. All cult leaders around the world, they share one thing, or two things, let us say. Money and sex. They want to sleep with women who they are believing them. And they want to have the money of the people who believe in them. And Muhammad have both. He want your money and he want your wife. 
Even if you go and read the interpretation, it says that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband, he must divorce her so the husband, he can, so Muhammad can have her immediately. What does this have to do with God? You know what I mean? What does this have to do with God? Who is a Muslim can tell me what is the connection? What this how this is can serve Islam? How this is can serve Allah? Muhammad is sleeping with more women. Ali Muhammadan? As you see, they speak Arabic, they don't speak Arabic, it doesn't matter. All of them, they run away. Do we have any Muslim? And the funny is, you know, like... Uh, I told him, okay, go find a friend for you to translate. He says, uh, I don't think you are translating. He don't, you know. They, they, they love to play victim. They love to play victim. I'm telling you, they love it. If we are Zakanaik, why are Zakanaik? Why Prophet Yemi uh, received those verses from Allah? Christian Prince, first of all, Prophet of Allah, beat upon him, he was very horny. And he have a special desire. You hear what? He have a special desire. Uh, you mean a special desire? Exactly. And because of that, Allah gave him special privilege. He gave him what? Special privilege. Special privilege, you mean? Exactly. Okay, so. Allah, he gave him special privilege because he is so horny. Why Allah, he made him so much horny? Forget the breath. First of all, you never be a prophet. If you become a prophet, you will become so horny. Hmm? If I became a prophet, I would become so horny. How is that? First of all, those things you cannot expire and you cannot be about it unless you become a prophet. And someone like you will never become a prophet. Hmm? Logic. I mean, if you are a prophet, you have to be horny. It's a, 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 a come on. It's it's like it's a automatic thing, you know. Like you became prophet right away. Allah, he like boof, 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 boof. he put some extra, you know, <clears throat> you know, in your, <clears throat> you know, and then like, <clears throat> what is this? This is a prophet of God. What is the connection? And the funny, there was a video uh, made by the Dean Show. He said uh, they were asking him. So the guy, they get a shake. So what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? He said, okay, let us ask those questions. What is the benefit for Prophet Muhammad from all of this? He got humiliated. They kick him out. He got no benefit. I mean, oh, look at the benefit. The fifth of the booty, the best of the booty. Any woman can offer herself to him. Women are sleeping with him. Money like rain. Women, people are fighting over even to give him gifts. The wives of Muhammad, they are fighting over the gifts. We can show you the reference. And then the Muslim, they say to us, Muhammad, when he die, he borrow money before he die from a Jew, from his neighbor. What Jew? What neighbor? Muhammad, he killed all the Jews. What neighbor? Where is the neighbor? There's a Jew neighbor? <laughs> Isn't it Muhammad? He kicked them all from the Arabian Peninsula and he killed all of them? Some they were lucky they left and they run and the rest he killed them and he and he 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 borrowed money from the Jew. He stole all the Jews' money. There's no Jews left. They tried to present to you that Muhammad was the Dalai Lama. He wear a sheet and all day he have his hand like close to each other and he says Zukuni Zukini, Zukuni Zukini, Zukuni Zukini. Hey Muhammad, what is Zukuni and what Zukini? First of all. First of all, I can explain to you what the Kuru and what the Kini. This is from the Code of Allah. I mean, this guy, even he cannot even explain his book. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God? People ask him, what this verse mean? He do not know. Have you? A prophet of God, the second you ask him a question, he go, he go in, the, in, in, in the coma. Bye-bye, I have to go. Like Muhammad, 
you know, and the Jews, they used to make fun of him, by the way. Like, you know, they asked him about Dhul Qurnayn, the man with the two horns. Have you ever heard of a guy, his name is the guy with the two horns? Why, he's a cow? I mean, give him a name at least. What's his name? Muhammad did not know what his name. So the Jews, they asked him about a prophet, his name, the man with the two horns. And the Jews, they are making fun of him. Muhammad, he was not sure what to say. So he said, okay, I will answer you. And then the inspiration of Allah came. Muhammad, he went, he started asking people, and then he got some information, and then he come to them with those verses in chapter 18. And he said to the Jews, okay, uh-huh. And they ask you about Dul Kurnain, the guy with the two horns. Say, I shall recite to you something of his story. Okay. Verily, we established for him in earth and we gave him the means of everything. If, 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 if. This is his story now. And then, so he followed away. What? Where is we? Where he live? Who is he? This is the story how to start. He followed away. It's like, you know, guys, somebody asked me about Trump 3,000 years from now. And then I say to you, he have this, uh, uh, the Mr. Trump, he used to have a Trump in his head. And then he fell away and he found himself in Washington, D.C. <laughs> At least I'm in my story, there's Washington, D.C. Here, we, we never know where he go. Where does guy he go? So he followed away until he reached the sitting place of the sun. <laughs> he found where the sun said, you can't be serious. I mean, you know what? I'm traveling for the last 20 years trying to find where it's at. I could not find it. And look how easy it was for Zulkarnain. He keep going, driving, 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 and then at that time they don't have driving. Come on, don't lie. Hey, Christian Prince, come on, don't fabricate things. Hello. Uh, you know, Alexander yeah, Great, he don't uh, drive. He used to take a drag and drag and. Uh, you know, a horse. So there again, there again, there again, there again. And then the brother, he arrived where the place, where the sun, there's a place. Yeah, there's a place. That place is very, now it's known. Before it was not known. Because Zulkarnain discovered it. So he arrived where the sun set. And he found it sitting in a spring of muddy water. If, 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 if. That's deep. <laughs> and then the Muslim they try to solve this problem they say uh, uh, brothers and sisters here it's not Allah saying the sun set in a spring of muddy water no brother Allah saying that Zulkarnain he thought it set in a muddy where he th thought where uh, did anyone did you say it says he Allah is talking it's not even Zulkarnain Allah telling him what he found he found it it's a find. It's not his thought. But because now it's very embarrassing, so we have to come with all excuses. Otherwise, the Quran, all of it is a joke. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Somebody saying, uh, Mustafa saying, Mustafa Karam. He's saying, uh, CP, can you prove your religion to be true? My friend Mustafa, you Muslims, you prove to me that my belief is true. Do you know why? Because you desperate trying to make me believe that my God is your God. If my religion is not true, so why you are desperate trying to say to me all the time, the same God, we worship the same God. So you see, we Christian, we say, no, we don't worship the same God, which means you already in your heart, you believe that we have the true belief. Otherwise, you will not kiss my shoes asking me to believe and accept that the same God is our God. Correct, guys? It is the Muslims who chase us saying that we should believe that we have the same God when we say no to them. No, 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 we don't. If you think we don't have the same God, so why you are asking us, keep saying to us we believe the same. If we have the wrong belief, why do you keep saying we have the same God? You see how silly those people are? Your question does not even match your belief. 
So when the Muslim they say, oh Christians, they corrupt their Bible. Okay, but then you say to them, your God is the same God as us. Stupid. Secondly, how we can corrupt our Bible if the Bible is sent by Allah? Are you saying to me, would it beat Allah? Are you saying that Allah, anyone can play with him? Isn't it the Quran says nobody can exchange or change the word of Allah? So when the Quran says no one, no one can change the word of Allah. Isn't all the word of Allah is the word of Allah or only the Quran is the word of Allah? All those verses saying the same chapter 6 verse number 34, chapter 6 verse number 115, chapter 10 verse 64, chapter 18 verse 20, 27. All of them saying that nobody can change the word of Allah. Is the gospel, the Injil, is the word of Allah? The Muslim, they say yes. So how the Quran says nobody can change the word of Allah? And yet you Muslim, you say the, the gospel is changed. No change can th there be in the word of Allah. Is that a false prophecy? Did Muhammad make a poo-poo here? Did Muhammad spoke, spoke foolishness? When he say this, because if the gospel is a changed and nobody can change the word of Allah, then nobody can change the word of Allah. The word of Allah is whatever Allah he, he said. If the Torah is the word of Allah and the Injil is the word of Allah and the Quran is the word of Allah, that's mean nobody can change the word of Allah. Mustafa, why you don't call me, my friend? You speak English very well and maybe better than me. As you see, my English is broken. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? We just have a phone conversation with the Muslim Abdul. He's a Mohammedan. And, you know, he, he took the highway. Yeah, and then the Muslim, they found Muhammad in the Bible. Uh, uh, moonlight, please, don't don't spam the text, my friend. Even YouTube is blocking you. Guys, don't spam the text. Don't, don't. Why you do that? Come on, don't spam. That's, we just post it, and there's no need for 1,000 laughing things. Okay, there's hold, and then uh, standard narrative holes, whatever, you know, easy. And you know, for me, I, I am against, by the way, teaching that the Quran is not preserved because if the Quran is not preserved, we will laugh at what? Right now, we are laughing at the preserved Quran. If we, if the Muslims agree the Quran is not preserved, we will laugh at what? Look, this is preserved, brother. You see this verse, brother? It's preserved one billion times. I agree. Look at this, how beautiful it is. Please, don't stop believing the Quran is preserved. Because the preserved Quran is the best Quran to laugh at. Because if the Muslim they start saying, oh, this is the Quran not preserved, then we cannot laugh at it. They will say, we, we told you it's not preserved. Hello. <laughs> so it's not, my for, it's not for my benefit as a Christian prince to make you believe that the Quran is not preserved. This is the preserved joke. And then a brother, this guy, he changed his way. Okay, he changed that accent. And then he keep going until he found where the sun rises. <laughs> he changed his way until he found where the sun rises. I never thought that this is can happen to any man. Finally, there's a man. He was able to find where the sun rises and he found it. He found what the sun rising on a people whom Allah provide them no shelter. The Muslim they say this is the ozone. <laughs> the North Pole, the North Pole. You idiot, the sun rise in the North Pole. You idiot. Potato. 
this is how the sun rise Muhammad I mean this guy he live in he found the sunrise in the North Pole hello ozone and then he found their people and those people they said to him there is people who they are not people what there's people they are not people yes they are not a human their name the people are Gog and Magog they are not a human hold on let me search for you Gog and Magog guys are you enjoying this uh, this uh, comedy be honest with me isn't it this is better than any comedy show ever you saw in your life it's better right I mean come on face it face it face it or leave it <laughs> Yeah, brother. Okay, brother. Okay. Yeah, it's a true story. Nothing here is not true story. Let me find you the pictures of Gog and Magog according to the description of the Muslims. Give me a second. People of Gog and Magog, they are not a human. They have big ears, they sleep inside their ears like a tent. Let me see if I can find here. We go, like the Muslims, guys. The Muslims they got us an idea about Gog and Magog. I, ju I just searched for Gog and Magog. Look what I found. <laughs> Let me put it for you on the screen. Hold on. I mean, the Muslims they have a very nice imagination. The brothers and sisters, let me introduce to you. The people of Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog. And the prophet, he spoke about Gog and Magog. And he said that each one of them before he die, he will have six until he have 1,000 baby. So those guys, the one you don't like, hello, they are very good in boom, boom. 1,000 baby, each one of them. So if we are 7 billion human being, so based on this, each one of them, I mean, if they are, if, if, if we are 7 billion, they have to be a thousand more than us, a thousand times. So they have to be trillion billion. Oh. Look at this one. This one is even nicer. Gog and Magog. Oh, this one is even better. Oh boy. Me. And look, all all the Muslim, you know, they put for you arrow. Like look, like here. Look here. Uh, come on. There is a rock, and there is the guy there. Obviously, we will look there. Do you need to put that arrow? Yeah, because they are slow. Look here, brother. Look here. I look at this one. I mean, all of this is Gog and Magog. Okay. So now the, uh, Alexander the Great, he built a dam between Gog and Magog and the mankind. Muslims, where we can find Gog and Magog? Where we can find them? Those who, uh, uh, the prophet of Allah, Alexander, by the way, Alexander the Great, he was a bisexual. I mean, even this guy, they made him a prophet of Allah. And look, look, here the Muslim, they 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 uh, they draw for you the dam. Look at that. Look how the dam look like, man. Unbelievable. Look at this. This is what Zal Qarnain he did. He built a dam made from iron and copper. Look, man, look. And that's it. People of Gog and Magog, they will try to burst through this dam and every day they dig and they cannot get it through. Anyone knows why? <clears throat> Honestly, don't you feel like you are like seven years old kid now and you are listening to cartoon story? I mean, this is a book of God. And look, look, this guy, even he, uh, look at the imagination of people. I mean, the people, the Muslims, they have a lot of imagination. 
We have a Muslim trying to contact me, let us see. <coughs> How I can contact you and he is busy. All right, they are just trying to disturb me, you know, so I will not continue talking, it's okay. So, brother, he found those people, and those people, they told him, uh, you know, uh, okay, uh, oh, uh-huh, uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah, this is the story, uh, -huh. uh okay, uh oh, oh, Sound like a monkey telling us a story, uh, 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 this is the story? Yes, brother, this is the story. <laughs> and Muhammad, he told them <coughs> that every day the people of Gog and Magog, who they are not human brothers and sisters, they try to open a hole in the wall. Every day, brother. And then after they dig until the night come and then their leader he said to them okay now we go back to sleep tomorrow we will continue and then when they come back in the morning they find the hole which they dig yesterday closed and why it's closed because brother anyone remember let us see how many of you remember before I say why each time they dig in the wall, they come the second day and they found it, the hole is a clothing or a closed. Anyone remember? What was the reason? What is the logical reason? Why each time almost they are out, almost, almost, almost. They are digging, they are digging, they are digging and then it's night time. And then they come in the morning and they found all the wall is blocked again. Anyone remember why? <clears throat> Anyone? Who knows why? All right, here we go. Mr. No one, he said they forgot to say, Inshallah, bingo, here we go. We have a good answer. They forgot the brother and sister to say, Inshallah. Can you believe it, brothers and sisters? How in the world you forgot to say such a thing? So those stupid people now for thousands of years, they dig in the same wall every day. And then, until one day, their leader, he will say suddenly, Tomorrow, inshallah, we will continue. And then because he said, inshallah, he come and he found the hole as it was yesterday and they will be able to get it through. <sighs> do you see what inshallah can do? Oh. <sighs> Do we have any Muslim? Do you have anything to say? Anyone? And you know, once the Prophet, he woke up in Mecca and his head was red. If, 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 if. And then he was saying, no God but Allah, no God but Allah, no God but Allah. Uh, you know, dam to the west, uh, you know, to the dam, dam to the Arab, dam to the Arab, dam to the Arab. And then he continues saying, because today a whole opening Gog and Magog. If, 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 if. Today, that was 1400 years ago, brother. Abdul Muhammad, are you sure, brother? Yes, I'm prophet. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, really old. Stupidity is amazing, isn't it? And those people believe in this? Yes, they believe in this. 
let me find let me find you the reference me this is happening 1400 years ago the prophet got up from his sleep with the flushed red face like going crazy you know and he said none has the right to be worshipped but Allah none has the right to be worshipped but Allah are we are we 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 to the Arab oh we to the Arab from the great evil that is nearly approaching them today when today this is the this is the today news like not yesterday today a gap has been made in the wall of Gog and Magog like this and then he opened his fingers imagine imagine you are living in the time of a prophet Muhammad and Muhammad he woke up from his sleep and he says to you today 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 today, today, today the, 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 there is a hole open in Gogama Gogul it's hard to express how to refine this news and this was 1400 years ago until now nothing happened nothing happened no Gog and Magog came but we have to be honest the story is interesting I mean you have you you get excited when you see it you know you cannot really you cannot deny this I mean it doesn't matter how much uh, I mean, you like all of you like fiction movies they don't be come on don't don't be a hypocrite I mean come on you know break if you have a hole in your wall please go to home depot and you will find a, a filler it's the best filler in the market it's called gog and magog filler trust it one time you use it you never use it again back to the topic gog and magog What happened in Gog? Stay with Magog. If Gog said no, Magog say yes. What do you know about Gog and Magog? Mysterious Gog and Magog. We cannot find them. We cannot find them. If you have a problem to find a rat or a cat in your house, we can give you the best solution. We can give you a chip or something you can hang it in their neck and they can be traced by the GPS. Like Gogama. He Muslims, where we can find Gogama Go. Where are they, those who they are behind the dam? I mean, they are a huge one, 1,000 to 1. Their population is 1,000 to 1 human. So if we are 7 or 8 billions, they are 8 trillions. Where we can find them? By the way, I have a commercial, you know. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, special request, you know, because people they are, you know, uh, 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 travel agency, they just contacted me and they heard about uh, Gog and Magog, and they said 
that they found that there is a, they have a destination uh, for people who like to go and who uh, to who go ma go ila who ha he ha ha you know who he look at this guy the reason i cannot talk because i'm looking at, at this what is that this is gog and magog i mean what this is gog and Ma this is gog and magog alhamdulillah i mean look how their faces have changed so fast from this to this i mean what happened anyway so uh, there's a travel, the travel agency they contacted me Im immediately and they said to me that they found Gog and Magog if you are a Muslim interested to visit the location so you can take selfie pictures and they provide you with uh, five stars hotels in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Havana find Gog and Magog you can dance with them exactly you can do samba as much as you wish. Yeah, you can take tequila with them. Yeah, take a beer. Take a beer as much as you want. Alhamdulillah. I'm fighting I'm impossible. What? Okay, the end of the commercial, sorry. I mean, the travel agency, they did not tell me that is the dance here, it's haram. But the Muslim they love dancing. The Muslim they grow beard in Mecca and they go dance. They dance in Thailand. They drunk. They sleep around. But in Mecca they are holy. Yeah. But what Gog and Magog? What you will do? Hmm. What is the believers? Do we have any believers left? <clears throat> any believer? This is a religion and this is a book of God. I mean, if this is a book of God, so what is a book of stupidity? Any Mickey Mouse story is better than this. I remember like Mickey Mouse, the guy, he's a Mickey, his, uh, you know, uh, his uncle come from Mexico and he have a guitar. He's in like, ah. And then you know the mustache of uh, sorry the, the the guitar line of uh, Mickey uh, you know it broke from his guitar so he take it from uh, you know the cat okay well the story of Lambo is better than Mogo Mago it's more convincing. This is book of God. I'm truly, truly convinced. I mean, that's it. I mean, who can deny this? And what I like about the Muslims when they make the graphic, they put for you an arrow like, okay, this is Gog. So this is Gog. Okay. Maybe you did not notice. They are making you see that this is Gog and the other one is Gog. <laughs> <coughs> like this one is Magog. The other one is Gog. What is that? Hmm. Hmm. I must have kid when I play games. <coughs> Let us see. Hmm. Okay, he's not answering. He's a kid. Do we have any brave Muslim want to call us? <coughs> go, Gamma, go. La, 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 la. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on here. What do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yes, we hear you. You are live on here. What do you like to say to us? You are a Muslim, right? Hello. 
Are you almost done? <coughs> Hello? Maybe you don't hear me. Hello? He need to fix his mic, maybe. I mean his speakers. All right, we told him to fix his speaker so he can call me back. <coughs> and supposedly I will not stay long, you believe it? Did I say to you guys before I go live, I will not stay long? Yeah. Did I say my throat is hurting me? Mm -hmm. Okay. And even my nose is running. I mean, English is funny, man. I mean, how, how in the world the English people, they come with this? His nose is running. I mean, Gog and Magog's story is more acceptable from a running nose. How your nose can run? And you say, Muhammad only have a stupid stories. Here we go. This English. His nose is running. First time I heard it like, his nose is running. But his nose is there. Now, like while speaking on the phone, he said to me, but my nose is running. I said, who? My nose is running. So when I saw him, like, because we are going to meet, and look at his nose, his nose is running. I said to him, what you said to me in the phone? He said to me, I, I, what I said to you? I said, what, you said something about running. What's you running? He said, my nose. What? What's wrong with this guy? His nose is running. <laughs> what? I, like, okay. I could not ask him because I didn't know what to say. I mean, his nose is there, and this guy keeps saying his nose is running. <coughs> Hello? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I do hear you. Go ahead. I hear you, actually, but you did not hear me first time. Go ahead. You are a Muslim, oh, right? Yeah, 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 I changed my... You are a Muslim, yes, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, what do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Yes. I'm just watching your videos all this time, and all the time you're spreading lies about Islam. Lies. Mm, like what? A Gog and Magog? Lies. Is Gog and Magog a lie? All the time lying. You know, Quran is most perfect book ever. Okay, tell me about you Gog. Know the Bible. No problem. Tell me about Bible. The Bible was written 300, 300 years after Jesus, even mm. when they said he died. Okay. What proof do you have? Where is the first Bible? Where is the second Bible? Where is the third Bible? Where is the fourth Bible? Hmm. We don't even have a full copy before four or five hundred years after hmm. Jesus died. Well, let us, so how can you say let, Quran let, is not preserved? Let us go Quran is not. Okay, do you have a full copy of the whole Quran before the, fir the, fir the first four centuries? Do you have a full copy? Do but we're not... Do you have a full copy? You see, I'm going with you now. Do you have a full copy dated to before the fourth century? It doesn't matter if we have full but you just copy. Said to we me, never but needed no, no, to preserve but, it. But no, you just say, but we, you, we, but you we, just say, on, but you just, on, hold on, you just say, hold on, hold on. You just say, look how evocate you, you are. Look, look how evocate you are. You just said to me, we don't have a full copy of the whole Bible before the the, the fourth century. You said that. And but but you are the one who believe that you have the same issue. If this is an issue for you, that's when you should not believe in Islam. Secondly, Muhammad he came six hundred years after Jesus, after the Bible is written. What is the proof of Muhammad that he knew what is in the Bible? If all the Bible is corrupt, the mic is yours. No, we never say the Bible is corrupt. We say you don't have the real Bible. So, so the Bible could be somewhere. The Bible could be somewhere in the Middle East. So, you just haven't found so it. So it's not correct. So you made okay, a, okay, so on, you, ma you made up a different copy. All right, hold you on. made up a different copy and then spread it all around the world all right. to give to to give to the Christian people. All right. The original copy could be there. Original copy could be even at the time of okay. Muhammad, but the, you hid it. hid it from everyone. The Bible, you the, rewrote okay, it. Okay, so but you don't have the copy. I mean, no, how, no, but nobody, tell me one thing. How my, many Christians friend, how many friend, Christians friend, have friend. read the Bible let, let that talk. comes in Greek let, let us or talk. Let Aramaic? Us, let, let us talk. How many, how many Muslims they speak Arabic? 
it's 15 percent 15 percent that's mean there is what 85 percent of muslims are not muslims no more doesn't matter because we listen to people a second, a second ago language. but a second ago we you have... said a second ago you said if we don't speak aramaic how, you said how many people speak aramaic how many people speak greek how many speak hebrew and now you are saying doesn't matter you see i don't know are you are you, are you mature adult or okay, okay okay how, how now, many let, how many let us, let us 1.6 billion let us people. let us be logical 15 percent is a lot 15 okay. percent is okay. how many million okay let us be, how many hundred doesn't million doesn't matter percent. and we have how million, many we have millions of hebrew? people who speak greek we have millions of people who speak Aramaic. We have millions of people who speak Hebrew. Stay. We have. Yeah, you so, go. You go. Few million, maybe, it, maybe five million, ten matter. million. As speak long Greek. As, as long people they speak, people they speak. Now the question is, do you understand the Quran, which is written in Arabic? Do you understand it yourself? I don't understand it myself, but I so look at you translations. Are, so you are proud about what? You are proud to be a Muslim about religion, and you said to me the Quran is perfect, but you don't, you cannot understand the Quran. How the Quran is perfect, yet you cannot understand it. Because we can trust our scholars. You cannot trust your okay, scholars. Okay, as long as you trust your scholars. Look, look at what they are doing. As long, look at as, what they are doing. As, the church okay, is doing as in long, every country. As long you trust, and uh, as, as long you trust your scholars, is the ant a Muslim? Of course. Look, even the Quran tells you that only Allah can understand the true meaning of the Quran. But the very well versed people, the knowledgeable people, they will understand as well parts of it. That's a false interpretation. So that's how the Quran my, works. My, my friend, you are we, 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 you we are only, ignorant. You are, ig make... you are ignorant, and the verse doesn't say that. Why you are lying? The verse says only Allah knows what the Quran means, and the one who are in, have knowledge, they say we believe. They don't understand. The one who have knowledge is the of one course, who say. Because we believe. He, okay, he so, shows but, us but, the. But you just said. But you just way. lied. But you just lied, and you say that the scholars they knew when the Quran says only Allah knows, and those who have knowledge they say we believe. So in order to have a knowledge in Islam, it's just you have to believe. What kind of religion this religion is? How you can be a scholar if just by saying I believe? How that make you a scholar? And what kind of book? Only Allah knows what it's mean. Don't you think this is so stupid? What? Okay, okay, okay. Let's say, let's say, Bible. Obviously, Bible is more clearly written mm -hmm. because it's a, it's a newer creation. It's it's created for the masses. It's created to lie to the masses. But obviously, you're gonna but, put lots of but isn't, in it, it, but isn't it the Quran? Lots of, but lots of it, nice things in it. Oh, hold nice on, hold story. Make okay, it hold on, hold on, movies, okay, hold on, the, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you Muslim, you say, okay, you Muslim, you say, and even Yasser Qadi, he said that the earliest Bible is exist is goes back to the sixty years after Christ. The earliest Quran you Muslims have goes back to 400 years after Muhammad. The earliest recitation you have is coming from Hafs. And Hafs, according to Muslims, is a fraud. So where is your Quran? The Quran says, Inna alayna jam'uhu wa Quranuhu. Allah, he says, I am going to collect the Quran and I will recite the Quran. Did Allah collect the Quran? Yes. Where? Isn't it Uthman? He collected the Quran and he burned the other Quran? So, it doesn't matter what man does to the Quran because no, it doesn't matter. It, it, does, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Isn't it the Quran? It doesn't says, matter whether no. they burn it, whether they sink it in the Nile. It doesn't matter. Why, it doesn't why, matter why, what the Egyptian government does. I thought you. Saudi government does because I thought you must end, listen, listen, the end. We will be left with the original Quran. Listen, you don't have original Quran. You just say it doesn't matter. They burn it. So who is the original? If there was original, it's burned. And I'm asking you now, why he burn it? Okay. Why he burn it? Okay. If if, why, why if he, why he maybe that's Allah's way of, why maybe that's it? Allah's way of preserving it I don't know I don't you, know how Allah thinks Allah uh, why Uthman is a messenger of Allah well he doesn't need to be but Allah can take control of anyone at any point he his power his okay. power is endless but, but if he wants to use Quran, one of the, but my friend, if he my, wants to use the people my friend, my to friend, fix the Quran my friend my, himself, my, my friend my friend the Quran says Allah if, if Allah, wants, Allah will hold call, on hold on listen if, listen are you saying to me decided, are you saying to me that Allah is Uthman because the Quran says Allah will collect the Quran at Uthman Yes, but Allah can take control of any human being at any time. He can he can do everything with a human being. Yeah, but Allah he says I will I will collect the book, not Uthman. Yeah, but he doesn't say how. He doesn't say he, how. It's still say, Allah. Look, it's st still it's no. It, so Uthman is Allah. So I mean, so me now, if I have my own Quran, I am Allah too. It's Allah who made me do it. I mean, this is a joke. Where is Muhammad then? So what Muhammad doing? Where is the book of Muhammad? 
Look, let me tell you one thing. Mm. If Allah decides to preserve the Quran, it doesn't matter how. This could be any method he can use. Even even the Egyptian, when the Egyptian government was fixing the Quran, mm. how do you know that's the Egyptian government? That's probably Allah using the people mm. to pick the right recitation. <clears throat> so how much? 95% of the world use half? Okay, let me let me yes. ask. So that means almost everyone, almost everyone, All almost right. everyone apart from few apart from few All regions. Right use half. So that means Allah has managed to preserve the copy he wanted to preserve. How he preserved? No, half is not really the copy he preserved. This is the copy uh, 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 printed by the oil of Saudi Arabia. Before that, nobody used half's recitation. Yeah, how, how do you know? How do you know that's we not know Allah's way of because preserving? Because before it was most popular, like Warish, other reading of the Quran, it's not, it's not half's. But because this is what was more popular in Saudi Arabia, and the government of Saudi Arabia is the one who published this, it is published. Same time, let me ask you. Do Allah allow people to write the books by their hands? He can do everything he wants. No, no, no. Do. I'm asking you. Don't tell me. Stop saying to me he can do everything. And this is another question. Do Allah allow well, you? It, as a... it is the question. It is no, the listen, because listen, you're saying no, there listen, is something he listen, cannot do. Listen, listen carefully. He cannot allow. This is not the question. I'm asking you. Are you allowed as a Muslim to write the book by your hand? The book of Allah. Look, if I grab an empty Musaf and I start writing, Allah will correct my hand. So I cannot make mistakes. Really? Mistake. Really? Uh -huh. are, you yes. sure? are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, well, I am, I'm going now to play for you a video. And this video have a recitation of the Quran. And you just said you don't know Arabic. So how you can correct it? How Allah can correct it? How Allah can correct you? You don't know even Arabic. I don't need to know it. If if Allah takes control of my hand when I'm writing, He will uh -huh. fix it, isn't it? Okay. Did Allah? It's as simple as that. Did Allah take control of Muhammad writing? He took control of what he was saying, isn't it? Okay, that's wonderful. So the one who took control of Muhammad of what he is saying is Allah. So when Muhammad he bowed down and he recited the satanic verses, was Allah in control or Shaitan? No, no, but he fixed it. He, Allah was not in control of Muhammad all the time. Obviously, he, ah, he only needed to take control when he was ah, reciting verses. Okay, so that's mean Allah and Muhammad, they are, sorry, Shaitan and Allah controlling Muhammad, and you agreed. Yes, but okay. look, look, look at the story. No, oh, no, hold oh, on, hold on. Let, okay. let me finish let, this let point. Me, let let me you ask started you. a very good point, okay. brother. Let me ask you. You started a very good Muhammad, point. Muhammad, hold on. Muhammad, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, no, I, I, I want to finish this one. I just, you just say the very important thing. That's why I want to. You will have time. Don't worry. We are just having a nice conversation. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank, okay. thank you for calling me. By the way, you are a nice guy. So listen. So as long as you agree that Muhammad is controlled by Allah and Shaitan, but Muhammad received his command from who? From Shaitan or from Allah? from well look he received commands from both yeah but uh -huh. Allah being the more powerful uh, listen <coughs> Allah being more powerful he fixed the rest isn't it uh -huh. Sa same as Jesus when Jesus was tempted by when Jesus was tempted by the devil yeah. God helped him no uh, resist that isn't no. it that's part no. of the but it's no. even in the Bible no. today no no that's not true the devil he could not you see when it says tempt he try but he did not tempt him he did not okay. fail so how do you know he did not take control of Jesus if you the, guys the, if the, you guys can correct you the Bible can, later you can, at any time you can go, how do you know? uh, okay don't, don't play games now you can I can say the same to you you can correct any time and look look at me I have a hate in front of me it says you're a prophet he said that shaitan he command him to do good what do you say about that it's in the front of you on the screen. Hold on, let me go through that. <clears throat> there is none among you whom is not an attaché from me. So Jin Day said, Allah Messenger, with you too. Thereupon he said, Yes, but Allah helps me against him, and so I am safe from his hands. He does not command me, but for good. Hmm. What do you think? Shaitan, he command Muhammad, good command. The devil. Obviously, Shaitan, he did not command him because Allah fixed it. No, no, I mean, no, 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 no. If you read the Stop story, saying, Allah my, fixed my friend, it. What, what's your name? What's your name? No, no, no. What's your if, name? What's if your, the what's, satanic what's, verses, what's your the name? satanic what's, verses what's, what's, your, not what's your name? What's your name? If the, I don't want to review my name, it's but if me, the give satanic me, verses give me a name. Not, give me a name to call you by, whatever your name. Just give me a name. 
Give me a name. Call me any anything you would like. Muhammad. Uh, I okay. know you Muhammad. love okay. to use Abdul. Okay, listen. Look at this, Muhammad. No, no, I'm not going time. to call you Abdul. You know, you look like you are more educated than normal Abdul. And now, okay. uh, yeah, you know, you are very educated. I can't tell. My friend, you don't even know how to read. It says he command me, but to do good. So not Allah fix it. Like the shaitan is do, commanding him still. Muhammad describing the command of shaitan as a good command. So why you are saying Allah, he fix it? What's wrong with you? Don't you know how to read? Did Muhammad say what you are saying or you are fabricating things? He said, so, but but he does not command me, but for good. So Muhammad saying that shaitan is a good person and he obey his command and his command is good. Muhammad here is admitting that shaitan... No, 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 look what it says, look what it says. But he does not command me, mm -hmm. but for good. So anything that's bad, he cannot command him because Allah helps him. Okay, but if it's anything good comes out of it... If anything good comes out of it... Okay, so shaitan, he, obviously, shaitan, he give only good command to Muhammad. Like what? Give me an example. How shaitan... He's, how we not call, only, how not we, only. How we can, hold on, how, he call, how you call him devil... And yet he give good command. Explain to me. I want to learn from this about you, about, you know, about Islam. Go ahead. He's the devil. The devil he do give good, good command since when? Does he have to? Is there anywhere where it's, where it's specified that he does only bad things? Yeah, well, the shit. And and, and you know, you know, the, hold, hold on, the, hold on. You know, lots of lots of good things. Lots of good things can come from something bad, isn't it? No, that's not true. Not according to Islam, shaitan is shaitan, isn't it? The Quran says that shaitan he want to mislead you. The shaitan he want to deceive you. The shaitan he will take you to hell. So now suddenly the shaitan he is a good guy. All the I'm Quran, not saying he's good, but look, but look, but look, he does not command me. Yeah. But for good, so anything good. Okay. He might be Allah might allow it to go through the gaps, but if anything bad, Allah does not allow it. Okay, that's wonderful. And I don't know but how you, you're but, reading the but, verse. But you agree that uh, Shaitan he gave him satanic verses and Muhammad he recite them. So how Allah allow it to go through? So that he can then show his power by uh, abrogating them. But or, uh, you, that's me. That's if, me. Okay, if guys. Muhammad didn't know, my friend, if my friend, Muhammad hold, hold, didn't know, hold on, hold and Allah on. didn't interfere, he would never know he revealed them. But he knew he revealed them, and it got fixed, isn't it? How and that's fixed? showing. Can that you tell Allah me? Can you tell me? Can, can you tell me the story how Allah fixed those verses? What happened? Muhammad don't know. Muhammad recite the verses, and then yes, and then Gabriel uh, came okay. and told him, "This right. is not from. This is not. It didn't come from me. So why are you reciting it?" So That's Muhammad wonderful. Didn't know. That's wonderful. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Listen carefully. Our friend here he said that Muhammad recites Shaitan Quran from Quran from Shaitan. Muhammad did not notice that this is not from Allah. Then Jibril later come to his house and he told him, "This is not from Allah." Do, you, do we agree about what we said? Is what you say? Yes. Okay. This is but, not from but, Allah. But, yes. But so, how you Muslim? They say nobody can make Quran like Allah. Here we go. Muhammad, he received Quran from Shaitan, and he himself the prophet. Who can be better examine the Quran more than Muhammad himself? If I recite Quran now, and you recite Quran, and then Muhammad in front of us, or we bring a sheikh, which one you choose? Muhammad, right? He's a prophet, correct? Which one will judge? Which one yes. is Quran? Okay. So Muhammad now here he fail. He received Quran from the devil. And yet he did not figure out that this is not from Allah. Even the verses saying bow down to the to, to the to the daughters of Allah. So how he did not notice why he was drunk? But look, Muhammad was never a perfect person. He was not Jesus. Friend, Jesus was not perfect. About... Not even... Okay, hold on, guys. Did, but you, Muhammad did, was, did you did you just Muhammad say was a mortal man. did you just say that Jesus is perfect? Of course, the Quran the Quran says he was he was the most righteous of all of them. Okay, so Muhammad was never no, 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 the no, no, most no. He, he's not righteous. righteous. You said you them. said you said perfect. Muhammad is not perfect. You said that Jesus is perfect. Yes, that's correct. He, okay, he wonderful. was a man. If there, is, yes. if there is any man is perfect. No, of course not. And I'm not saying he was perfect. You just he doesn't that. need to be perfect to, to do God's work. But you just was say, Moses but, perfect? But you just no. But you just was say, Abraham perfect? But you just no. but you just say that he is perfect. You everybody heard you. You said that. 
Of course. Okay. Even Allah says he made Jesus. Okay. He was the most so, righteous of so, all of them. He was so the most you, perfect. So when, you say, so when you say he's perfect, he's perfect. There's no, no there's no so so. Either perfect or not perfect. So Muhammad is not perfect. Jesus is perfect. Wonderful. Muhammad received satanic yes. verses. And that you are saying because he is not perfect, he did not notice that he was praying to the daughters of the devil. And because he's not perfect, he bowed down to them. And because he's not perfect, he still went home and did not notice. And because he's not perfect, still he need the angel to come and tell him. And because he's not perfect, Allah after that, he need to fix the Quran. Hold on. If we go now in the Quran to this chapter we are talking about, the chapter of Satanic verses, chapter 22, you will see here it says that Allah is going to take off what shaitan he throw. Do you agree with this? Allah will take yes. it off? Okay. How we knew that this verse itself is from Allah, not from shaitan? If shaitan was able to throw Quran already in Muhammad, and Muhammad did not notice. How we knew that this verse itself is not from shaitan saying, don't worry Muhammad, I will give you more. Don't worry about shaitan giving you things. I, I am Allah, I will take it away. How we knew that this verse is not from shaitan because already we agreed that Muhammad received from shaitan and he don't notice. So shaitan, he can do it again and again and again and again. If he was able to do no, it once. No, but you are... You Look, you you are you are doing mental gymnastics at the moment because you're saying, "Oh, how do we know the whole Quran was not the devil's work?" Well, we wasn't because we know this. How? And we know exactly where Shaitan involved because where? Allah wanted us to know where. Where? where? What Shaitan? What, 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 what Shaitan? Okay, what Shaitan he want? Tell me what is, what Shaitan he do? What Shaitan he do? How he try? How well, he try? He tried Interview. He managed to get a few words in, hmm. and then uh, Gabriel came and fixed it. No, no. By what, what, what was when Shaitan intervened with a human being in general? What he what he tried to do? Like what he do? I mean, what he promised you? How he can tempt you? What he do? Well, he 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 always tries to take them of the righteous path. Okay. Was Muhammad a righteous man? He tries to be. Okay. Was Muhammad a righteous man? When he went to his own son wife and he flirted with her in her house when she is married did he flirt though does anyone say he flirted with her or does it say that she hmm. liked him thus hmm. she wanted to marry him no it says that he said to her subhanallah praise be to allah the one who flipped my heart for you and he said that loudly so she can hear it is that a good man? He go to the All house. Right, show me, show me the hadith. Let's go. Let's show me the hadith. Let's read it carefully. All right. Let us see. <clears throat> Let us find the reference. Give me a second. Here we go. This is chapter uh, Al-Ahzab, verse number 37, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. All right, I am putting it for you on the screen screen. And then you will see that when he went to the to his, uh, his son, he found Zainab standing and she was wearing very sexy clothes. It says here read carefully you don't know Arabic but I will give you the link you can you can use Google translation it says here or you can give it to any Muslim who speak Arabic so so he went to Zaid seeking him and then he found Zainab standing and she was white and big and beautiful and she is from the most perfect women of Christ so so he's so beautiful you know okay for so he fell in love with her he fell in love with married women and then he said Waqal. Subhanallah muqallib al-qulub fasami'at Zainab bi tasbih fa dhakaratha li Zaid so Zainab she said what she what, uh, she heard what he said and she told her husband fa fatina Zaid and then Zaid is uh, oh here we go so now he knew that he's she's sleeping with him so fa so he went to Muhammad he said ya Rasulullah please let me let me divorce her she is proud she is uh, she have a bad tongue she hurt me with her tongue and then Muhammad, look how hypocrite. A second ago, he was in the house of the man, flirting with the wife, and now he's saying to him, no, 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 keep your wife for you, man. Keep your wife for you. It's in front of you. And this is what? Read. 
This is your Islamic Tafsir, Tafsir al qurtubi and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I will post the link in the chat. You can click and you can use Google Translation to translate. What kind of a prophet he go and do such a thing? This is the man you trust him with the Quran. This is the man you trust him with the ethic. This is the one you trust whatever he says to you is from God. And he is the good guy. He's not perfect, no problem. But here we go. I mean, this is very bad. First of all, he adopted this son. Imagine. Imagine he changed the adoption just because he want to have the girl. He changed the adoption. He adopted the man for years. And suddenly, just because he, he saw this woman, he want her. He canceled the adoption law. He forbid people from adopting. And he, he right away the man he he noticed says he for Fatina Zaid so Zaid he noticed what what's happening obviously she is cheating with him you see here the story doesn't say that they're sleeping together but obviously they are working together in the same direction and you are the one who just said to me no she like him and she want to marry him you said that so she is not a good woman a good woman who is married to a man and they are not even in seeking divorce. She want to marry other man, and he is his father. And then we find that Muhammad, he go to the house, flirting with the wife when the husband is away. Be honest with me. If your father come to your house and he flirt with your wife and he said to her, my heart to flip for you, what you will do with your father? Be honest. Okay, first of all, he was an adopted son, so he's Doesn't not matter. father. Doesn't matter. Even this is more ugly because second, because you give the second of you, all, give, you give you give a, you, when you adopt a son, and that's mean you give a word of honor. You just say that Muhammad have no honor. You just say that. Okay. Because if I adopt, can we not agree? Can we not hold on? Can we not agree that God, if He wills, He can use horrible men. So with, ba with bad flaws so to you, do his will. So you are saying, and, and he always has. So you are saying, and he Muhammad, always says, Moses was not perfect. So you are saying, uh, Muhammad all of is the previous prophets were not perfect. <clears throat> so you are saying to me, Muhammad was a bad man. Well, he was the man for the job in the Middle East at that time. He was okay. the man for the job, apparently. Okay, because he is maybe the man he had for a strong the job. Will. And what he is might, the um, he and, might and have what had, and what might have had and what, what is the job? What is the job of Muhammad? Look what the interpretation is saying. And if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so he can have her immediately. Yeah. Uh -huh. So why wouldn't God give a little bit of an incentive to his prophet so oh, that this he is will a, get the job oh, done? Oh, the incentive of the prophet is to give you women who they are married to other men just because you like them. This is incentive. This is bonus. Bonus to Muhammad. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, what kind of logic this logic is? So if I go now to your house and I see your wife and I am a prophet, it's bonus for me. It's not your right to complain. This is not against Allah teaching. This is not against ethic. No, it's an incentive. Incentive to the prophet. Well, Why the incentive? Was it, was it against Allah's teaching? Huh? What? Was it against Allah's teaching? Don't you, you Muslim says, the Quran says, Allah, he said to you, when you go to visit somebody, put your head down, don't let you look at the women. Don't, uh, you know, uh, this is against Allah's teaching, supposedly. Yeah. Yes, and then, and then what did he say? That if any woman looks at him, she, uh, he can marry her. What woman so look at her? He, he, he is the one flirting with her. I mean, she is married. What's wrong with you? <laughs> she is married. You go to the house of the man. Look, you have look, no honor. You have no honor if you go to a house of somebody. And you, especially you would I do it personally? I wouldn't do it personally. Why? Would I allow this to be done? Probably not. Why? Why? But, why you but not if do, he was the why man, why you will not job. do it? Hold if on. If he was the man for the job, why? if he was why? strong, why you will not do convey it? the message of no, 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 no. his wait. people wait. at that time. Wait, my friend, why you will not do it? Are you saying you are better than Muhammad? I'm not saying I'm better than Muhammad. You All I'm saying is that I would not do some things that he would do. So simple as it is. We're why, all different. Why? We're no, not. No, if no, I could no, be, no, 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 you, you just said I would not be the same. I could be the same, isn't it? Why? Okay. But isn't it you, Muslim? You follow the Sunnah as the Prophet he did. You follow his step in whatever he did. Here we go, Muhammad. You go to the house of people, flirt with the wife, so you can do it. This is Sunnah. Well, I can't do it. You can't do it, right? So this is Islam. Islam. Well, I can give a try, certainly, but but I would I, I doubt God would now approve of me because I'm not doing His work. Why, why you are why you are not approved? You just said we follow Muhammad's steps. He is the best man to follow. 
Look, you have to understand that that time in the Middle East was a very violent and hard My time. My friend, what does have to do with so, the, what what what, what, what does have to do profit. what does have to do with violent now? The man, he is his son. They are not in war. He go to the house. The, okay, and what kind, I'm saying and what kind of God and what kind of what kind of God he says? Desire. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see. You Muslims, you jump from a place to a place to a place, and it's English. So you agree that Muhammad is a bad person. That's a that's a wonderful news. I want to. I ask don't you. agree. He's a bad person. I agree. He has a humanly needs, mm -hmm. and they might be different than your humanly needs. So if I, but he's so got now, his own. I, so now I have a human need. So if I see a woman, I rape her. I say I have a human needs, right? Is that okay, right? Well, obviously not, because that's forbidden. No, it's not forbidden. Where it says it's forbidden for Islam to rape. Show me the verse on the phone. Okay, hold on. I will give you 10 years. Actually, I will show you where it says you can rape. I will give you 20 years, not only. You, know, you can search Google from now until the coming century. I no, never... no, no, there is a verse. I just forgot no, which verse it is no, that there... shows no, which no, women no, are permitted. No, 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 take your which time. Which women are no, no, permitted no, no, to no, you? No, no, I will wait for you. I will wait for you. Here we go. Search Google. I will give you 10,000 years. Show, show me the verse about rape. Go ahead. I want to learn from you. Google is very fast, my friend. Search verse about rape in the Quran. All right, Quran 424. 424? And, and also prohibited to you are all married women except those your right hand possess. This is a decree of Allah upon you. And lawful to you are all others beyond these, provided that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property. Hmm. That's no rape. This is the verse. Actually. How is that rape? This is the verse. I have it in the screen ready for you to show you the rape because it says forbidden for you married women except, except. So you can rape women who they are married. Do you know how to read? It says, no, no, okay, let's, it's, let's, okay. it says, forbidden for you, mar women already married, except, <laughs> except who? Except married women. Who they are, your right hand possess. Except those whom your right hand possess. Exactly. Okay. But, how, many women does your, how many women does your right hand possess? How many women does my in, hand in possess? None. Of, in the time of Muhammad, he have hundreds. This is not the topic now. You see, you are playing, you are, are you a kid? Are you a man or adult or a kid? So when the Quran but, says, when the Quran says you can rape those who their right hand possess, it's mean you can do it today. You have them or not, because now you are weak. You cannot go and conquer and rape women as before. But if you can, you will. So the Quran saying you can rape women who they are married. And you said to me, you will show me a verse against rape. When this is the same verse says you can rape them. Well, look, because the Quran has built a better world, and that's Allah's plan for us. This is better world? Uh, how, we don't no, how this, no longer how, possess any women. How this is better world? No, you, you do. This is an order for you, but now you cannot do it because you are weak. If the Muslims are the most powerful country in the world, you will do it. Not long time ago. If we are all you know, the most powerful, there would be peace all around the world. Exactly. Because we would all follow this. Exactly. Peace. Everybody will be killed. The women, they will be raped like ISIS, right? Peace. You know, by the way, I don't know. You speak about peace. You say if we have a peace. Isn't it the Quran forbid you from having peace? Well, if the whole world is Muslim, obviously we will have peace. Ah, women. so you will keep killing until nobody left, not a Muslim, and then you will have peace, correct? Yeah, but why do we need to kill if we can just convince people? We can just convince no, people that no, this is the truth. You, no, you said you, you just said if all the world become Muslim, then we need to not to kill, my friend. And nobody's convinced. People are loving Islam. And let, let me ask you: we, we just mentioned a second ago about Muhammad having sex and Muhammad going after women. Is that Muhammad or Allah making Muhammad having sex with women illegal way? Who is the one who made us do adultery? 
Is it Shaitan or Allah? Why would we do adultery? If he, I, he didn't sleep with them before he I, was I'm married. I'm asking to you. Them. No, no, hold on. No, he did. He did it with Mary the Copt. He did with Sophia. He did with many. He can count for you endless numbers. No, I'm asking you. Look, who you, is can, the one? you can find many fake hadiths. No, not fake hadiths. We know about the hadith that fake Christians put not fake, and the sleep Abdul, between. Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen. If you, if you want to talk to me, either either you speak with, with, with your brain is open or don't call me. Because uh, when you say fake hadith, you have to prove it. So are you challenging me now to show you a hadith which nobody can prove that it's fake? Is that a challenge? You cannot do that. We show you from Al-Bukhari. We show you from Sahih Muslim. So stop playing this game. I'm asking you now a question. When a person do adultery, who is the one who make him do adultery? Allah or Shaitan? Shaitan. Thank you very much. Guys, did you hear him? Shaitan. The hadith says that Allah is the one who make you adultery. And you just admitted that Shaitan is Allah. Read for me. And this is a very sahih hadith. It says here, you read it. You know, your English is better than mine. Go ahead. Okay, put it on the screen. It's a little bit off screen, please. It is in the screen. All right, thank you very much. Go read, I want to hear it. Hadith is like Verily, Allah has mm -hmm. the very portion of adultery yeah. which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. The adultery of the eye is mm -hmm. the lustful look and the adultery of the tongue is the uh, licentious speech, the hard desires and yearns which the parts may or may not put into effect. Okay, so what do you understand from that? I'm listening, go ahead. The men need to feel the necessity to do bad things, no, but Allah has fixed it. What fix, what fix it? No, it says, yeah, you see, I don't know, like, are you playing dumb now? Are you playing like you don't know uh, English no more? It says, verily, Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery. Who is the one who fixed the very portion of adultery which a man he will indulge in who is the one who decide to you how much adultery you will do give me the name who is the one who decide how much adultery you will do no but obviously shaitan is not fixing adultery this is He's making people do this it is not the question you see don't play you know, i don't have time for kids talk i'm not a kid i don't know how old are you um be honest with me does it say Allah is the one who fixed the very portion of adultery, which means who is the one who decide how much adultery I do, you do, he do, she do. Does it say it is Allah who decide how much adultery we do for each one of us? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, but a second ago you said to me, Shaitan do that. So Allah is Shaitan. Because the one who made me do adultery is not Shaitan. It's Allah. When I asked you who is the one who make you do that, you said Shaitan without hesitation. Okay, now we find out that this is not from Shaitan. Shaitan is a good guy. He's a victim. Shaitan never do that. Allah is the real Shaitan in Islam. He is the one who made you do adultery. And he is the one who make you to do it as a must. You don't even have a choice to do or not. Ah. <sighs> So you admitted that shaitan is Allah and Allah is shaitan. Which, which, which hadith is that? Can you show me if it's, if it's Sahih? Here we go. Sahih, is it plural or something? Sahih Muslim 5657B. And I will post the link for you in the chat. So you can open it from your side and you can check it out. We don't make things up, my friend. Allah is shaitan. There's no question. He is the one who make you do bad things and then he blames shaitan for the bad things you do which in the fact it's allah he decide for you to do those things i advise you to leave islam my friend you are worshiping satan So how do we know? Because me personally, I've always had problems with the hadiths. Well, the, personally, well, the Quran, I don't Muslims do. My friend, the Quran is not better. The Quran is the, is very evil too. I mean, the Quran is very stupid, my friend. 
You, you see, the problem is that you... Yes, but the, but the hadith were written two, three hundred years later, so the, how the can Quran we... Quran is the same. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran is the same, my friend. The Quran is the same. The Quran is the same. And by the way, we don't even have the books of the hadith. I mean, Islam is a joke. We don't have the original books of the Quran. We don't have even anything have to do with Uthman. We don't have anything. This is Sahih Muslim. We don't have the book of Sahih Muslim. You believe it? We don't have the book of Sahih Bukhari. I mean, this is a joke. Islam is a joke. You have nothing. You see, when the Christian they say, so which, when, which, what, what, which book, which full book of the Bible do you have? We have books where the one is written in leather and the one is written in in the in the Egyptian papers. Those are exist, but they are dissolved by time. But we have a shred of them. So we have thousands and thousands of shred. All of them in total agreement with the yeah, Bible but, today, but, my friend, my friend. Listen, listen. There is a reason. Those 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 paper books, even if you don't touch them, if you put them in the drawer, after a long time they will be demolished by themselves. First, because they are made by normal people, who they are just making papers. It's paper made from from. Uh, I you know, do understand yeah. that, but so, the question the, is: the one who is exists, if we cannot repeat, we have, if no, we no, have small pieces, no, same, same time. We, how we, do you know the people no, who have, didn't just change all we, the words we, around we, them? We have, we have. Let me tell you why. First of all, we have many copies of the Bible in different languages. Many, as an exa example, in Ethiopia, as an example, the Egyptian. As an example, even in India, most the, the earliest Christians, they went all over the world. And at the same time, we have art preserved the story of the Bible, which go back to the time of Jesus, when Christians, they were going under, under the ground and they were doing mosaic and art to preserve the crucifixion of Jesus, the verses in the Greek language or in Hebrew. And to now we found them go back all the time to the time of Jesus. In the same time, the, the you know, when, when we when we question the Quran, I don't care really if it's preserved or not. The Quran is a stupid book. You see, I just told them before, I don't know if you were listening, I said, I don't want the Muslim to believe the Quran not preserved because this is not for my benefit. If the Quran is preserved and it's a stupid book, that's for my benefit, that's it. The Quran is preserved. So you have no excuse to say, oh, somebody play with it. So when the Quran say the sun set in murky water, do you have an excuse? You, you say the hadith, I don't trust the hadith much, but what about the Quran? Before you call me, you heard me saw, speaking about Gog and Magog. Who in the world want to believe such a story? This is Quran. This is not hadith. And you keep saying to me the Quran preserved. How in the world you in the year 2020, I don't know what is your education, believe that there is a man, his name is Dhul Qurnayn. He got his first horn because he went to his people to make them to believe in Islam. They hit him in the hammer, in his head. He got the first horn and he died. Allah raised him back and he sent him back to his people. Then they hit him again with the hammer in his head, so he got two horns. <laughs> and then the story continued. And then he keep, you know, Allah, he gave him a power. And then he occupied most of the earth. And he found where the sun set. And he found it sitting in murky water. The Muslims, they tried to solve this problem. They say, oh, Zul Qurnayn, he, he thought, brother, don't you see the sun go in the water? My friend, it's even, it says a spring. Even the hadith Muhammad he said, confirming that the sun goes in water which is hot and muddy. You know, here we go. This is the hadith, and this hadith is good. It's even Sahih in chain. Narrated Abu Abu Dhar, Abu Dhar, which means the father of the ants. He said, I was sitting behind Allah Messenger who was riding a donkey. While the sun was sitting, he asked, Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. Hamia. Do you see it? And this is in total agreement yes. with the Quran. Total agreement with the Quran. So the Quran preserved, for me, I'm laughing. Okay, it's preserved. <laughs> so what we will do now? This is against you, actually, not against me, because you see, if I if I am a person who believe, if I'm speaking to someone who believe the Quran not preserved, he can say, oh, somebody put it there. There's no way this is from Allah. But because you believe now it's preserved word by word, then you cannot play games. You cannot say the Hadith, I don't agree with it. This is Quran. And then the guy, he keep continue walking. And then he went and look, it says, until he, when he reached the sitting place of the sun, the, the sitting place of the sun, yeah, he reached it. And then he found it sitting in a spring of a bloody mo. <laughs> you are laughing at? Huh? <laughs> ah, you got me here. To be honest, it's a, it's a difficult book to defend.
Yeah. But maybe I need more knowledge. My maybe friend, I'm the, the knowledge in the front of you, I'm helping you. I mean, you see, I'm, everything I'm saying to you, it's in the front of you on the screen. This is your Muslim translation. This is your Quran. You are my witness. It's not my website. I have nothing to do with it. How this can be from God? <clears throat> If I am you, I will leave. The, and this, this is, you know, my friend, you're, you are smarter than this. This is not even for good for kids. This is not good for cartoon. And then he go, and then what? Uh, you know, he, he found it in the muddy water, and then he continue, and then he changed his direction, and he fought another, another way, in verse number 89. And then he, until when he came to the rising place of the sun. What is that? The sun rises everywhere. You don't need to go anywhere. Just stay home. <laughs> I mean, this is a joke. And then he found it rising on people who, whom we, Allah, had provided no shelter. Oh. This is supposed to in Africa, you know, they, they have, you know, they are naked. And then, you know, we gave him all the mean to whatever to do. And then he followed another way. And then, brother, he found people, uh, you know, like they are stupid. And they told him to build a dam between him, between them and people of Gog and Magog. <laughs> what do you think about Gog and Magog story? <laughs> do you like cartoon? Remember, the Quran is preserved. You are the one who said that to me. This is the preserved story of Allah. Okay, so if 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 it's not preserved, what what do we do? What do I do? No, it's not. It's Bible is not. No, 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 my friend, 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 my friend. This is a joke to say that the Christian they did not preserve the Bible. Why they want to do that? I mean, somebody believe from his heart in God. I will not say the Muslim would do that. I will not say the Hindu would. This is stupid, even claim. I mean, a guy is a Hindu. Why you want to change his book? This is stupid. I mean, this is not even. This is the most stupid thing. A person who is a believer, he will not do that. And if a Christian, he agreed to do that. You see, you mentioned to me that the Christian, they have a, a conference to meet to discuss heretic, right? So here we go. This yeah, the, even, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even here, the Jews don't agree with the Christians. Here we go. Here we go. So what? So what? No, 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 no. The Jews agree. The 12 disciples of Jesus, they were Jews, my friend. They were not Hindus. They were not Arab. They were not the Christians. They were Jews. So you are wrong. So the first one who believed in Jesus was the Jews, not nothing, no, no one else. We learn about Jesus from so the why Jews. Why don't Jews today believe in Jesus? Who said the majority of them are already Christians? They, what, what, what is left of the Jews is not even 20 millions. After 2,000 years, there's only 20 millions. What happened? Simply because the majority became Christians. What is left is the minority, not the majority. So No, but they were more. Obviously, Hitler <coughs> killed a lot of them. Other people killed a lot of them. No, no. It, uh, everybody, it, 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 no problem. I mean, a lot of people die from the Jews, yes. But in the same time, the majority already are Christians. Same time, my friend. There, it's not logical to say to anyone. It's not logical for me even to say to a Muslim, you are playing with your book because if he is a believer, he will not do that. No, nobody will do that. It doesn't matter what religion is. A person who is a Hindu, he have a scriptures, he believe it's holy. Why you want to do that? This is a stupid argument. So don't go there. This is in the front of us. No, but maybe maybe the Roman Empire needed a book My friend, they to cannot, stand behind. They cannot, they cannot, because not all the Christians under the Roman Empire. Christians are spread all over. Ethiopian is not under the Roman Empire. Uh, you know, and then uh, the Roman Empire, they shrink, and they, they, the, the Roman Empire die. So it exists no more. So why people want to do that? And nobody was able to hide one copy. I mean, this is a joke. All languages, you know, it, it, we, we believe, even in the, in the books of, of Tafsir, it says that the disciple of Jesus, when Jesus told them to go and preach and teach, they said to him, well, how we will uh, teach? We don't speak the less languages. So Allah, according to the Muslim interpretation, he, when they wake up in the morning, each one of them, he found himself speaking different language. So if the Greek book corrupt, Okay, what about the Ethiopian book? What about the Coptic book? What about the Indian book? What about the Persian book? Yeah, but you don't, you don't, you don't have many my, of my those. My friend, my That's friend, my, my friend, you, you are running away from what is in the front of you. This is the whole thing. You just admitted that this is stupid. Correct? You admitted this is stupid. Or maybe we don't understand it the way it's meant to be. No, my understood. friend, it's no, it's in the front of you. Don't they want to play a game? It's up to you. You know, it's about you, not about me, my friend. I don't care if you want to say whatever you want to say. But this is not not we don't understand. It's very simple. 
Gog and Magog, he built a dam between us and them. And then your prophet, he described that those, they tried to go out of the bridge, out of the of the dam. And then uh, uh, he woke up in the morning. He found, he said, today, there is people who, uh, uh, people of Gog and Magog, they were able to, to like this in the, in the, in the wall. Uh, we to Allah, the, to the Arab, for, for today, a little tiny hole open. So this is, it's, it's explained already. It's explained. It's not. It's not a choice to say, oh, maybe we don't understand it because Muhammad he mentioned it even in the hadith, and those hadith are accurate, sahih. So what we will do with it? Read it. Abu Huraira said, Allah Apostle, uh, you know, uh, uh, he said, uh, today, today the wall barrier between uh, Gog and Magog has been opened so much, and he was terrified. And he was saying the Arab, oh, a we to the Arab, you know, you, what's coming to you? All those hadith are sahih. See, sahih al-Bukhari. He woke up in the morning, his his face is red, he's terrified. He was saying, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. And then they said to him, what's happening? He said, the great evil happened today, today. A gap has been opened, and he made a like a, a, a space between his hand about how big it is of people of Gog and Magog. And those are 1,000 to 1, which means if we are 7 billions, the Gog and Magog, they are 7 trillions. So where are they? Where is this dam? And who in the world would believe yeah. in such a story? He built a dam. They can go around the dam. I mean, the earth. But that's like asking where, where is the Garden of Eden? No, 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 because those are people in earth. They are in the earth. Those are not in the so sky. So where was the Garden of Eden according to the Bible? It was on huh? earth. It wasn't in space. What? Where was the Garden of Eden? It was on earth according yes. to the Bible. Yes, but in, it wasn't floating. In yes, space. and we know we know we know the location in the in the in the in the in the, in the north of Iraq. So. But in the, in the the Garden of Eden in uh, in Islam, it is in heaven. What does it have to do with this, my friend? It's a garden. It's a, it's not when we say heaven. When it come to Adam and Eve, it's a garden. It's just a place. Uh, God providing with everything. It's not really heaven as heaven as we you imagine now, like the seventy version, etc. But here, notice with me that Muhammad he explained to you. He have tons of stories about Gog and Magog, and all of them they are authentic hadith, in total agreement with the Quran. How you today, and you said, you just agreed that this is stupid, this is not right. You got me here, this is what you said. How you want to stay as a Muslim with this? What is this? All of those stories, look how many. Maybe I need to ask my scholars about more information. Well, your scholars, they cannot say to you anything except what I'm showing you on the screen. This is your scholar talking. Or do you think I'm giving you, is, is your scholar is better than Al-Bukhari? <laughs> you know what your scars if there is a scars in Islam they will be calling me my friend they don't dare did you ask yourself what is the scars why they don't call me we just have an Arab I don't know if you heard him he ran away you don't know literally I just asked him he said to me this hadith is fabricated I said prove, prove it go ahead you run away so what about the prof the Prophecy of Muhammad in the Bible. He's prophesized well, by Jesus. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. I mean, you Muslims are really crazy. In, a second ago, you are saying to me it's corrupted. The book is corrupted. And now you find him in the Bible. So if, if the Bible is corrupted, it means the prophecy is corrupted. Secondly, all those are, you call them prophecy, are not true. Actually, the opposite. It says, like, you know, I mean, it is really stupid. Uh, uh, you, did you even read what uh, the Muslim they said to you? Go and check the verses yourself. Read a few verses before, a few verses after. You will die laughing. <sighs> one one of the, the videos in YouTube, it's very popular. They say it's in uh, Muhammad is in Isaiah. When the, when the verse is speaking about God, they made, they made Muhammad God. <laughs> the verse says the Lord. The guy, he cut it and he started reading after. Why? Because in a second, people will notice that this is speaking about God. They lie to you. You know, you mentioned to me that Muhammad is a prophet, right? And Muhammad, he received his knowledge from who? From Allah, correct? 
Yes. Okay. Do you uh, what? Uh, what is your education? Like, do you are you did you finish school, university, anything? University. All right, that's wonderful. So I'm talking to an educated person. That's wonderful. How the baby is created? Have you ever heard of someone who claimed to be God, and then he say this, that the sperm became a congealed dead blood? Which God is that? He says such a thing. And then the Muslim, they make videos saying this is scientific, and they start fabricating the translation and the meaning. Then we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Congealed blood, the sperm, will became a congealed blood. This is God. And then the clot, we made it into a lump. And then we, we, made, we made out of the lump a bones and cloth. And the bones, which mean at the end we have bones, bones, just bones, there's nothing. And then we close the bones. So the start is stupid, the end is even more funny. And look at the translation. You said you do not know Arabic, right? Yeah, but that's not meant to be a scientific book. No, it's meant just because no, 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 no. You see, when you speak in such details, that is not metaphorical no more. He's telling you stages by stage by stage. This is not just metaphorical. I can say, I agree. You know, we can say that, like in the Bible, it says you, 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 you made me in such a way. My friend, terms we use today. My friend, my no friend. one back then would understand it, isn't it? Yeah, that at that time people they they, they take it because they didn't know what he's talking about. Simply, this is not. If he says, it. "Oh, we're gonna create this embryo and we're gonna make this and this and this," my no friend, one's gonna understand. But, but it's still, this is but right it's but it's still, he don't have to be stupid, right? I mean, he can say how he created, and then we will be amazed now when we discover it. But what, he don't be stupid. He don't say we made the sperm and took a congealed blood. Or what about chapter 80, 86? Uh, 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 where it says that women have a sperm and coming from her ribs, and the man have a sperm is coming from his backbone. I mean, what kind of God he say that? Women don't have a sperm. And the sperm of the man is not coming from the backbone. You can go right now and check in Nicotheer, he will say to you that this is meaning the sperm of the man coming from the backbone and the sperm of the women, the, the water of the women, which is yellow, as Muhammad described it, coming in from the location of the necklace. This is what the water I mean. It's a word used for women, ribs, specific location of the ribs, the top one. So how this can be God? So look, the sun set in murky water. He found where the sun set. He found where the sun rise. He found where next to it, he, he built Gog and Magog. Uh, a story of the cave people, which is funny and stupid. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a fiction story written by a Christian priest in Syria for the Christian youth. It's fiction. All the Christian they knew that. So they, you know, he took it. He put it in the Quran. When a, when a Jewish man he came to Muhammad and he said to him, uh, uh, "What is uh, what is the signs of the hour?" Do you know the story? No, not this one. He, he asked him, he said to him, I want to ask you a question which nobody know the answer for it except a prophet of God. This is the hadith, this is Sahih Bukhari. So nobody can say it's weak. So he said to him, there's certain things, I'm going to ask him about things. He said, I'm going to ask him about three things which only a prophet can know the answer or can answer it. Wonderful. I mean, look how how the story is stupid from the beginning. The guy, he knew the answer, and he is saying only prophet knew the answer. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid? This is your prophet saying that. This is a story coming from your prophet. I come to you and I say to you, I'm going to ask you a question. Only prophet knew the correct answer, but I know the correct answer. So I must be prophet too. So it's a stupid cult, man. It's a, it's a, it is just a madness, a stupidity. It's a low IQ. And then he continued. He said to him, "And look at the questions. I mean, look at this very hard exam. What is the first food which people of paradise will eat? Like what? This is the question which nobody knows except prophet. What does? Why does the child attract the severity of his father or to his mother?" Then the prophet re re replied, said, Gabriel, Jibreel, just inform me now. Look, what? So Muhammad, now he cannot claim that he is getting something stupid. Jibreel from Allah, inform me that 
etc. He said, and then Ibn Salam, he said to him, Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews. Since when Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews? <laughs> anyway, so then he says, uh, as the first time of the hour, it will be the fire, will collect people from the east to the west. Okay, where it says in the Quran, this fire will collect them from the east and the west. As for the first meal, the people of paradise will eat, will be the, the, the loop of the fish liver. Why? Because people will go to have sex. The Arab, they believe that the, the whale, the whale, not the fish, the whale uh, uh, liver is very good for sex. You know, they, they have, they take from it, al ambar. you can check it out. As the, the, the ambar is even, you know, the, the deer, he have the same, same uh, hormone, which is used to attract female. So Muhammad, he, the, the Arab, they learn that those things, they attract females, so they think they can attract female, but this is what's for the deer. Anyway, as for the child, if a man discharge proceed in the women, discharge the child attract the similarity to the man. Look at this stupid. He just said, if you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If you have orgasm, uh, uh, the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. What does this have to do with this? According to which science? And remember, he said, Jibreel told me. So we cannot say Muhammad is making, I mean, uh, somebody fool him. Uh, he was just, as you said, he is just a human. He just said, Jibreel told me. So either Jibreel told him or he's a liar. Maybe he lied. Maybe he's li he lied. Uh, you're right. Obviously, he's lied. He lied because this is absolutely false. So you, ju you, just, left, you just left Islam, my friend. You just left Islam right now. I'm happy for you. You decide to use your brain and you are out. The second you use your brain, you are out of Islam and now you are out of Islam. I'm really happy for you. I'm so glad you called me today so we can share the truth with you. It's obvious this man is so making... What, what? What do I do with this? Okay, let's say Islam is false. What, what do I do with this? Well, you know, now you have to think. I mean, okay, Islam is false. I can invite you to believe in <laughs> Jesus if you want. But you, first you have to clear yourself from all the dirt of the, and the garbage of Muhammad. With my respect to you, you see, if we have a computer, have a virus, we cannot install a new clean software without formatting the virus. You have to clean yourself from the garbage of Muhammad. You have to believe in the Holy God. The Holy God is what Jesus he brought to us. The Holy God is what Jesus taught us. If a man, he look at a woman and he wished to have a recommitted adultery. Not, you know, God, he made you do adultery. Okay, yeah. so if people like me all my life about this, they never show me this, how can I trust anyone else? Even, Don't, I, how I, do I know I, this? Did I, did thing I, did my friend, my friend, my friend, did I say to you, trust me? Did I say to you? No, you are a man, you are a dog. You went to school, you have a degree, you speak languages, you have a computer, do your research, study very well, and search holiness. The one, you know, once a, a big sheikh he came to my father and he said to him, uh, you know, you are a great man, a great family, you are very well known. Why you don't, uh, I invite you to accept Islam, you know, the sheikh saying that to my dad. So my dad, he said to him nicely, he didn't want to be polite with him because he's in our house and he is a friend of him. He said to him, well, Ya Sheikh, where is Muhammad now? He said, he's dead. He said to him, where is Jesus now? He said, he's in heaven. He said, well, I will follow the one in heaven. So ask yourself a very simple question. Which one you want to follow? The one who, as you mentioned, you knew he said, he is perfect. The one who is right now in heaven. The one who never commits sin. The one, ever, the one who taught holiness and he was holy. You see, I can say to you, be good. Don't do that and do that. But I could. I do sin. I do sin. I, I have to admit, I do sin. You know, I'm. 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 I, I'm not even close to to claim to be anything good about me. You know, only God is good. So when we speak about Jesus, it's a different story. Jesus, he challenged the Jews. Who can of you prove me to be a sinner? Who can? Who dare? I cannot. I cannot say that to you because if I say that to you, I will be a hypocrite. I am a sinner. So when we speak about the Messiah, we speak about holiness. Jesus, he said to us, if you want to go to my heaven, let's go how to pray. He said, pray like this. And then he said, 
Forgive to us the same we forgive to others. And then you will notice that Jesus in the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. So imagine if Jesus, he said, forgive them, and yet he don't want to forgive. Even in the cross, when people are calling him names, killing him literally, I mean, crucifying, how, 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 how ugly, how evil, how much pain, yet, he is saying, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. So when Jesus says to us, forgive, he was truthful. He did it. Even when he is dying in the cross. And death for him means nothing. I have, I have no problem with Jesus being the best, the most righteous, the, not a single sin and everything. And that he was peaceful. He never raised a hand or did anything wrong. But where... How can he claim to be God, though? That, that, that's the biggest problem. How can he claim? Well, Even if you're the most perfect prophet of God, you're still giving the message of God, isn't it? Friend, you don't claim for yourself friend, the God. The Even message, when the, you do miracles and yeah. do everything. Okay, you see, you know, I, I, when we ask a Muslim, how, why Allah chose Muhammad? They say, Allah, we don't ask him what, why he chose, right? Now, why Jesus he claimed to be God well if he is if he is a claiming to be God then he should not be able to do what God can do I can claim to be God too you can claim to be God talk is cheap I can go right down the street and I will say hey I'm God uh, okay people they will they will ask me do you know the guy from India he claimed to be the Messiah Ahmad Mirza Ghulam the Ahmadiyya guy hello you remember him hello yeah you remember Ahmad Mirza Ghulam uh do you remember Ahmad no. Mirza? Yeah, this guy anyway, you can search him. He claimed to be the Messiah. He claimed to be the Messiah. Okay. And then second day, people, they come to his house and they have people in the wheelchair. People, they are blind. People, they cannot see. People, they are sick. And they say to him, okay, you are the Messiah. Do what the Messiah do. What the Messiah does. He made the blind see. He, he healed the leper. He made the one who cannot walk, yes. walk. Okay. So when Jesus, he make a claim, it is a claim until he prove it is true and he did he did what nobody can do resurrecting people from death making the blind see i mean he order he ordered the nature one word of him it's a must so there is different between somebody claim muhammad claimed to be a prophet and here we go you agreed he's a liar i can claim to be a prophet you can claim it's a good business by the way these days, I mean, uh, uh, this is the best business ever in history, always. Anyone want to make money, he can make himself a prophet. He will find some fool and they will give him his money and that's it. He will live like a king. And then he will start sleeping with the women. Jesus never asked for money. Je Jesus never uh, uh, have a woman. Jesus never even own a donkey. Jesus never own a house. Jesus never have a, a, a palace. I mean, imagine you are in a, in a uh, now and before, nothing changed. If I can raise people from death. How many kings they will worship me and they will be under my command i will be their boss forever because they will die they knew it's coming they have a person who will make them alive again so he did not abuse the power he was not seeking power for he is the true god in this earth so when we question how this has happened well god because the bible says for god he loved the world that's why he came to us not because he need to but because he loved to there's a huge difference. God did not create me because he need me. He don't need me. He want to share his glory with us. He wanted us to be happy. He want, This is why in Christianity we have different form of speaking to God. We call him Father. We don't say, yes, he is God, but imagine our relationship is not about God. It's about children and their father. This is how much loving he is. And the Quran says, I created not a human or genie except to worship me. The Bible teaches different, totally the opposite direction. This is why you speak to the Father and you pray to the Father because He is your Father. He is your God, yes, but He is not an evil one. He He loves you. So when when I when I speak about Jesus, I, I try to find the intention of this person. His name is Jesus. What do you want from me? What he want? Did he want something from me? No. Did he ask for something? No. 
Did he ask for the fifth of the booty like Muhammad? No. Did he ask women, hey, will give yourself to me? No. He asked you to be holy. He asked you to be loving. He said, love your enemy. I mean, everything he said is for the benefit of mankind. Nobody can question that. Love your enemy. I mean, imagine, my friend, if all mankind, they practice one sentence of Jesus, which is love your enemy. Guess what? We will have no war. We will have no thieves. We will have no criminals. We will have no death. We will have no people crying because people love each other. Just one sentence of Christ's teaching is the solution for mankind. Not the book. You see, just sentence is better than all the books in the world. All the book of wisdom. So Jesus did not That's fail. True. Jesus did not fail, my friend. We fail. We fail to love each other. We fail to be good to each other. In the Quran, go attack them, go kill them, go take their money, go etc. And then somebody will say to you, oh, and you know, like in the Old Testament, there's war. You know, we have to understand that those people, they are under attack too. The Jewish, they were trying to survive. But Jesus, he want us to take us to the, to higher level. Everything was to prepare for the coming of Jesus to the point where he can say, love your enemy. And still after 2000 years, people don't want to listen. People full of hate. Christians are not being Christians. Jewish are not being Jewish. Muslims killing each other. You know, uh, war everywhere. Corona, crazy stuff. Even even people want to use. They want to use people just even when they are dying from Corona. People they want to hack Corona. Want to sit in the market. I mean, even death is a business in the world today. So with the Messiah, we have a new life. And I invite you, my friend. You are a smart person. I invite you to the best I have. His name is the Messiah. I invite you to accept him as your Lord, as your Savior. And it's up to you. I will. You will. Do you accept the Messiah as your Savior? Yes. I mean to that. Hallelujah. A happiness today in the kingdom of God. We have our friends. Did you hear it, people? Praise the Lord. We have a child of God. He came back home. Don't think that Jesus is the winner. You are the winner. Don't think Christian Prince, he win a debate. I did not. You are the winner. I lost from my time, my friend, and you are the winner. I spend my night with you, but you are the winner. It's not me. And it's not the Messiah. It's you. I'm so happy for you. I say, and I pray that the Lord will bless you, bless your family. And if you need me to talk to them, I will be so happy to talk to them and I will speak to them. I will promise you, I will speak to them very politely, your parents, anyone you want. I will be happy. You can contact me anytime and I will be happy uh, uh, to talk to them. And today you are a new person. Today you need to forget about all bad things you learn from Muhammad, all bad things you learn from this madness. You are a child of God, my friend. You are a loving person. You are a new person. Do you have a copy Thank of the you. do you have a copy of the Bible? Yes. All right. Well, I advise you to start like start reading from the book of John. And I want you to read, you know, let me tell you about how I read. And maybe I'm not telling you how to read, by the way. I'm, I'm saying to you how uh, uh, like let us take it from <laughs> from a brother of you, you know, like uh, how, how I do things, let us say. All right. I'm not going to teach you how to read. But when, you, when you read the Bible, don't treat it as a story live the story so you can imagine it imagine that jesus is speaking imagine people they are around imagine people they are asking imagine jesus is answering and then you can live the story and then you can observe it better and you will find how amazing christ's teaching is read ask learn and the more you read the more you will notice that you are learning more which means the same chapter if i go right now to John chapter 1 after all those years how many times I did read it if I start reading now and I sit alone I will find something in you the Lord will inspire me the Lord will open my eyes so I pray the Lord will open your eyes and he will inspire you and he will teach you not me no man can teach only God and this is why we are listening to the word of the Lord and he is the only teacher he's the only master we have it's not Peter who teach us. It's not Paul who teach us, as Muslims they say to you. 
we are following Jesus we don't follow any man the rest are just disciples and you can be one of them you can be disciple of the Lord and bring as many Muslims as you can and the Lord will be so happy to have you I, I will show them what you showed me contact me if they want to talk to me if they don't want to go live no problem we can go on private but if they want to go live even better and I promise you I will speak to your family in a very respectful way even though it's oh, very my, my, my family is Christian your family is a Christian so what happened I guess I lost my way well you are back my friend I'm so happy for you your family are saved and today you are saved go tell your mom go 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 tell your mom hey I became a Christian I'm back I'm back home let her cry and give you a hug I'm sure thank she thank you for showing me all this I'm so happy for you my friend you want to say anything to people around you people are happy for you look how my look how people are happy for you yeah I'm, I'm, I'm watching the chat thank you Owen. God bless you all right my friend God bless you and God bless your mother and your father and your family and we pray for them all of them and I'm happy that today your new year is different the family in your year is different now you have a Christmas next next year next year you will be the first to say to your mother Merry Christmas mom praise the Lord thank you praise the Lord thank you for calling take care good night, Bye -bye. Good night brother good night <clears throat> my throat is hurting me I told you I don't feel good when I go live but it's worth it it's worth it and I'm sure his mother she will be very happy to hear that he is is back to Christ and he is saved and he's out of the devil house pray for him that the Lord will keep him strong and will, will uh, protect him and protect his family and we pray that the Lord, he will bring more people using him to Christ. I apologize, guys. I cannot really stay long. My really, my throat is really hurting badly. I wasn't going to go live today. I told you from the beginning, I will, I'm not going to stay long. I hardly can talk. Each time I open my mouth, it's really hurting. I think I have a bad uh, uh, throat infection, maybe. Uh, <clears throat> I want to say, uh, you do your best you don't know what you, you know you don't know what you would accomplish you know this this uh, this brother he called us he was angry from me he was upset from me he was etc but you never know you never know this is why the Lord he chose fishermen you know he's, he told us to be fisher to go and fish and our fishing is different it is to save not to kill it is to secure not to harm so uh, I'm glad that he called us today and I, I pray that every day we will have more Muslims to call. They call us as Muslims, they hang up as a Christians. And this is not the first time happened. We have thousands of Muslims who left Islam watching our videos. Some they left on air, sometime in private because they don't want to speak about it. Sometime even I don't know about them and they say to me in the chat. So we are happy for everybody. And uh, um, until we see you if i am okay tomorrow i will go live uh, subscribe join us you can follow us in patreon too if you care and until we see you soon again i say may the lord bless you protect you and keep you safe and this is your brother christian prince wish you the best and don't forget again to pray for our friend we do not know his name pray for him who doesn't matter who is he we pray that he will be the light in his house and for people around. Thank you and God bless you. Take care.